What's up, it's Mel Thine, the Time God, right here, posted up at the fucking House of Gods. Back to the Basics 2, watching the fucking Dirtbag Dash show, man. Tune in. Don't sleep. Boy, I got my mind on cake. Boy, boy, I got my mind on cake. Hustle every night and day. Boy, I got my mind on cake. Oh, shit! Dirtbag Dan Show, episode 81! Fucking disasters here, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. in studio. Disaster. One clap, two claps. <laughs> there you go. Got a few claps. I'm gonna have to do like a uh, like a I'm in those like a, I'm in like a level where I don't blow. I'm no, no, in you San Jose. You can scream. Fuck work. it, you can do it, bro. You can I'm in San Jose. Yes, right, yeah. There we go. All right, I can fucking clap for that. That was pretty good. That's good. That's good. I felt it. I got nervous. I gotta do that every time. I, I, I got know, nervous. Kind of like Mainly because uh, <laughs> I rent this place. No, <laughs> <laughs> Skyler G's Sorry. here. Caustic's here. Able Able Abilities is is trying to help us manage this Periscope situation that we got going on over here. Uh, I don't know what this is. There's so many hearts. Yeah, you'll tell us some of the questions. So many fucking hearts just flying the fuck off of that thing. Yeah, so, yeah it's it's making like a, this battle thing look a lot weaker. Yeah, it's weird. Um, yeah, I kind of am <laughs> unfamiliar with the concept of Periscope. It, it's, it's just being able to FaceTime the whole no, thing. No, I know like what it does, but what do the hearts signify exactly? I think they're like pressing like or something. Okay. They're really or, like or I yeah. think they're like tapping the Because it's just like yes. a stream of rainbow yeah, hearts. Like so a, look, it's like, like this. Like a geyser of... So it's like, like it's like, just like Instagram well, where you like Instagram, it, yeah. but you can continually like it. In yeah. different colors. Right? So fools there, are yeah. just so like, like, oh, God, fuck. Yes, yeah. I think that's why they changed Twitter into a star because they realized the heart thing was soft. You know how it used to be a heart? Yeah. Now it's a was star it? for it the was, likes. I don't even yeah. remember. Yeah. It used to be a heart for the likes. Yeah, now, now it's, it's a like star. a favorite instead. It's a star, yeah. yeah. Or Speak is it the other way around? Did they change it into a heart? God no, damn, yeah, no. You, I think they might have changed it into a heart because oh, they're like, "Fuck, everyone's bullshit. on their heart." I think so it's the other way now because oh. now you like it. Wow, now, now you like it. Now it's a feeling. Now you love it. Um, you speaking see. of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, the Dirtbag Dan Show on Facebook at Dirtbag Dan Show on Twitter, uh, Instagram at DBD Show. Holler at your boys. Uh, this is where you send us video questions. You'll see there's some video questions tonight. Some of them directly for disaster that came in today. So uh, that's how you send us video questions. A lot of questions about that. Upload your shit to YouTube. Set it to unlisted and tweet us the link and we will fucking put it on the screen. Or send it to our Facebook or uh, nah, not, don't do it to our Instagram. I don't know how I would get it from there. So don't fucking do that. But follow us there at DBD Show. Okay. Um, sponsors, we're getting on that shit. Uh, there's been a lot going on in my life. Oh, shut and, the fuck but, up. But, dude, disaster's <laughs> here now, bro. <laughs> dis <laughs> disaster's going to sponsor this whole shit, bro. Just you Sponsored wait. Sponsored by Diz. Disaster, disaster's going to fucking make us all famous. We're just waiting for it to happen. <laughs> um, uh, news. I got some news. Uh, we, we're going to be doing a monthly uh, podcast where, like, we, basically, I'm going to be producing a podcast for Mac Mall. It's going to be Mac Mall's podcast. Oh, awesome. I'm not on it. It's uh, Mac Mall, uh, Miss on? Black Zeus, and Tone Loke. Uh, they got Chewy Gomez as a guest for the first uh, episode. Oh, shit. And uh, it's going to be like sports and hip hop culture and fucking uh, just everything. You know what I mean? He's into a lot of shit. So, oh, South Mac yeah, so that'll yeah, be tight. Uh, and it'll be. It'll be like, so please don't, I'm going to tell you fuckers right now, when that shit comes out, it's something extra. Watch it. Don't, I don't want to fucking see in the comments, where's the Dirtbag Dan Show? That's not the fucking Dirtbag Dan Show. It's a Dirtbag, different show. It's, it's a something different else show. on our channel. We're going to have all kinds of content. So yeah. Don't. It's a different show on the same channel. We'll be doing other, like, we're, we're going to be doing podcasts with other motherfuckers. Not you know everything I mean? is so. going to have Dirt's name in it. Have you ever yeah, watched, for sure. Have you ever for watched sure. the TV channel and then the show ends and then a different show? show comes on <laughs> yeah yeah that's what's happening it's right like now. that yeah so definitely uh uh look out for that i know some of you guys are gonna love that i know some of you guys don't care but it's not fucking for you it's for all the new fans that he's gonna bring in and i can't wait uh for that shit to happen he's already <laughs> got us speaking of sponsors he's like he's like i got how, how many is too many i'm like man i hate you <laughs> it's like he's just he's like i got it everybody wants to jump on board the the mac mall ship so yeah Okay. Shout, uh, shout one, out to Mag Mall, man. One more bit of self-serving news before we get into the meat of this fucking very dense Dirtbag Dan oh, show episode. Yeah. Disasters here. We got so much real life shit to talk about before we even get into all the dish shit. Um, but uh, I will be touring with Kung Fu Vampire in Canada 
uh, June and July. It's the Look Alive tour. We're gonna be doing uh, we're gonna be doing some battles like with live bands. We're gonna be lo- doing some live band cipher shit with uh, some King of the Dot MCs. Uh, and we're gonna be I'm gonna Wait, be doing comedy, that? dude. The whole we're fucking where every is it at? every major market in Canada. Uh, we're doing like right now. There's like it's like between 18 and 20 dates booked between like the 6th of June and like the 4th of July, wow. all the way from one side of the, from Vancouver all the way over to yeah, uh, like Toronto, Montreal. Like fun. Dude, it's going to be dope. And like, and I know that there's going to be times where we're in like, when we're in Toronto, like whoever's there, like if you're out there, you're definitely going to be a part of the show. Like whoever's in each region is going to be a part of the show. You know what I mean? So we're, we're trying to bring in other MCs. And then Kung Fu Vampire Show is super fucking live. If you've never seen it, it's definitely worth watching. But just uh, keep your eyes open for that. And I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy, like not only like uh, short yes. sets at the show, but also like if I'm in that town, I'm going to be trying to do a show before the show. So just uh, I'll be all over Canada, motherfuckers. Watch out for that shit. And that's it. And then we're going to get into uh, some real shit, okay? Ashray. So. Hell yeah. Uh, oh shit! Dirt's, Dirt's gonna bring it back all over Canada. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I feel like we haven't used a Fritzo joke. Yeah, really. it's yeah. been forever, bro. They're good. like dead. They don't even. Have <laughs> they don't even apply anymore. Just, just bring it back or um, just leave it where it was. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> uh. So. Uh. Super unfortunate. <laughs> it, like, let's get some good. real hip hop news. Super unfortunate. Uh. Fife dog. Probably the most quotable yeah. uh punchline hip hip hop artist like He's rapper just a period. Guy, period. Yeah. yeah. Every like I was thinking about it, all the tribe songs that I know words to, that yeah. it's all like immediately I go yeah. to five bars. Yeah, yeah. You know what well, I mean? I like, oh, yeah, them, totally. I like them brown and yellow. Yeah. Puerto Rican and Haitian. Yeah. My name is Five Dog from, from the Zulu, Zulu Nation. Nation. Yeah, they're all. It's like oh, I, I just oh, love that. He, like, yeah, I love like crazy. I love like I like Busta's Lament. This five is how dog. I get down. Now let's lock the boots like from the group H Town. Yes, you got a BBD on your bedroom, bedroom wall, wall, but I'm above the rim. And this is how I ball. Yeah, that shit is hard. So many. I feel from like the New York streets. This is how I represent over this beat. Yeah, that shit was I feel like Fife fuck, really bro. got like really good towards like the later records too. Like Fife was so tight on love movement and shit like that. Like, nobody yeah. ever like people felt some type of way about like uh, Tip's solo shit, but nobody. Everybody has always has nothing but nice shit to say about Fife. Like both as an artist and as a person. Yeah, dude, Seemed like the right. coolest motherfucker in the world. It would have been an honor to meet him. I know that everybody who was like people who were commenting online today, he actually like, like came he and affected a lot of people. He w- he yeah, introduced so a big uh, uh, a team backpack cipher, and like yeah. I see the homie Gmo uh, who's been on the show was right, like, right, yeah, right. it was like one of the coolest things ever to have Fife yeah, yeah. do that. Crazy. Uh, but he, yeah, he had a lot of health problems for a long time, man. He's dealing with yeah. a lot of yeah, shit the was, whole time, yeah. which is really like a you know a big part of why Tribe kind of ended for a while. You know what I mean? And it's fucking. Well, him and Q Tip had the thing too. Yeah, yeah man, man, these fools. Uh, I think these fools live hard. I mean, how many, dude? It's it's like it's the rock and roll artist is the one that you think like expires like that. But how many hip hop artists uh, yeah. have just yeah. like yeah. Really you know what I'm saying? Like toll, yams and. DJ it's Screw life, and like bro. not even like the ones that have, were murdered, the ones that were just like f- went to sleep and didn't wake up. You yeah. know, PH fucking. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like so it's 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 a. Uh, We've lost way too many lately, man. Yeah, it's oh, definitely yeah. every time it happens. It's like I was I was tweeting this shit. It like it, not to like downplay anybody else passing away, but when an MC like that passes away, that's such a big part yeah. of like growing up and just a part of the culture. It's like a fucking branch off the tree getting snapped. Like we all feel it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's totally because you never expect that person to go, so you kind of take him for granted. Yeah. Like yeah, he's another one of those crazy f- rappers we grew up listening to. But then when they pass away, you realize like. Yo, that's like that's yeah, crazy. You never thought that shit would happen. Rest one in of the peace, first man. tapes Five I dollars. ever had. Straight up, I know For Q-tip sure. taking shit. Have, have you, you hard, guys? Have you yeah. guys seen the documentary? Prayer is the Q-tip man. Dude, what? The yeah, beats rhymes, beats rhymes in life. Yeah, beats rhymes in life. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. I suggest anybody who oh, hasn't seen I, it yeah. goes and watches it. I yeah. mean, like it's a really uh, a well put together documentary. I'm actually yeah, in I've it. Seen it. What? I'm in it like uh, it's at the San Francisco Rock the Bells. It shows me and my baby mama meet Q-tip. That's dope. And that was like the day they broke up. Wow. <laughs> Bomb. That's Dude. when they go in the back and he's like, man, this shit is fucked up, man. I was like, fuck. <laughs> like, Q-Tip was not even, like, there. Like, I met Q-Tip. There's nobody, like, he was... <laughs> he's the coolest dude, too. Yeah, right? no, nah, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's nah, cool he's as fuck, man. That's one of my guy. favorite, I met him too, yeah. favorite rappers. Shouts out to Q-Tip, man. man. Super but, unfortunate uh, news, though. Super, man. 
Yeah. And here's some shout confusing. Out shout out to five men. It's, it like, just seems like it's speeding up nowadays. It's like the rate of losing, like so, like maybe we just getting older or something. But it just feel like now it's yeah. like everyone just like it's like one after the other. You know, have time both. to mourn one person. It's like the next. You know what I mean? Yeah. Speaking of uh, losing. Cat Williams has just been taking vicious <laughs> L's, bro. Oh, that's a nice transition. What the just fuck, vicious, dude. just vicious L's. <laughs> that guy, man. I woke I, ever up since today I watched, and that. watched that, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" He went from having Debo by the balls to literally getting stumped by a fourteen-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is like the second week in a row that he got like beat up, in, like by a crowd or like with a crowd like present and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is kind of this his, has been yeah, now. this has been his thing. Like, for you know well, I love Cat Williams, but it's at the point where he's you like were trying to that. make people yeah. laugh at yeah. him. Yeah. Skyler was saying he went to a show in Oakland. I went to a show in Oakland. It had to be like three years ago. Yeah. And this fool fucking sat on stage in a stool and like tweaked his neck for like 15 minutes. Then the promoter came out <laughs> and <laughs> was like, yeah, just on some weird shit. I got, I got footage on my other phone of it, right? And then the promoter comes out and this motherfucker starts arguing with the promoter. The promoter turns around. He socks him in the back of the head. You have footage of this? I don't have footage of the fight, but I have footage of him on stage, like just <laughs> sitting in a stool when he's supposed to be doing his routine and just like sitting on a stool in the middle of the stage. Damn, going, I think now would be the time to put that out. All right, so, <laughs> so check this yeah, out. That'd be so amazing. here's the thing at the beginning of the show, after all the opening acts and stuff, he comes out and he goes, All the baby mamas come to the front. And so all <laughs> these chicks are like fucking booking, hightailing from what like, because we're in a, in a, uh, the Oakland Coliseum. So we're down, we're on the sides and they're down on the floor. And all these chicks are running up to the front. <laughs> You know, some dudes, I don't know what they're But I'm well, a baby, baby daddy. This I'm a single daddy. Yeah, he pulls he pulls out one of, those, both like, these kids. one of those bank envelopes and pulls like thirty racks out and just starts throwing cash into the audience, <laughs> right? Like fucking clouds of money. Damn. It was like Joker and fucking Batman <laughs> and shit. <laughs> You know, it was like I was waiting for the Yo, gas to come out. Like, did cloud, did I don't hear did. about this. This is this retar- said this clouds is. of money. I remember hearing about it. I remember hearing so, about it. And uh, uh, I remember what what <laughs> Two Short said. They were that was like all yeah. over the internet. So then, shit. so then he no. So literally, so then like at one point, Two Short comes out. He introduces him and shit. Too Short and I think uh, San Quinn or someone. Yeah. And so. Uh, That's the shit in Oakland, huh? Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. then fucking after this all goes <laughs> down, this, yeah. Cat Williams w- went off stage like three times and came back out and talked shit to the audience. He tried. He almost tried to fight someone in the crowd. <laughs> and uh, then Too Short. Why he's so small? Not like, good. Too Short comes out yeah, and he goes. Crazy, he goes, man. Oakland, you guys gave him some bad shit. <laughs> and he's like blaming Oakland yeah, for fucking. He's, he's over there lit out of his mind, right? tossing money in the crowd. And, and then I'm like, then, I feel like he showed up like this a little bit. You know, you know that could be like a bad decision being fucked up. Like, yo, this might be cool to toss thirty G's in the crowd. He probably woke up in the morning like, God oh, shit. fucking damn it! <laughs> well, and then God damn it! And especially and then somebody. And then like as they're telling everyone the show was over and this and that and like everyone's leaving, some other dude just like fucking <laughs> clocks and knocks some fucking guy out on the stage like <laughs> they're like all people are all over the stage and all of a sudden this dude just fucking bink and you see this dude just drop and he's just yeah. laying there for like 15 minutes <laughs> no bro a cat williams show, show it bro it was fucking crazy <laughs> the, yo i, I guarantee it was, you it was hilarious i guarantee you his broke ass is missing that thirty thousand dollars now because he's like in the projects oh, yeah. this was a like while fucking, ago yo he, okay, yeah, he's fighting like 17 year old kids in the projects 15 year old I've heard a range well, he of ages just, and, and the, the tightest shit though no. is, is he's he, a teenager regardless he punches a 17 year old boy out of nowhere and then gets like MMA to the ground and then he after it's over he like sits up and then makes everybody laugh yeah yo yo he's wow. like that look crazy. y'all gonna let he's like y'all gonna let this kid beat up a star <laughs> he's, like, he's, <laughs> he's like he's like you gonna I didn't even see that <laughs> really part. he sits up he's like you gonna let this little broke boy fight a celebrity yeah you gonna yeah. Be, be a celebrity <laughs> A celebrity. Wait, and and then he says something ass. I can't I quite understand. And then he looks at everybody and goes, Thank you. <laughs> and then That's he stands and everybody laughs and he stands up. And he's like, I'm in the hood all the time. And everybody like laughs. Yeah, because he's, like, he's got to buy crack. That's why he's <laughs> in the Yo, hood no, all no, the time. That's for sure. Like, there's no other reason to be in the projects in Florida 
if you're solo, Dude, like Dolo in the I'm Florida sorry. projects, yeah. you're if you are looking for drugs, that and that's full, the only reason tell, it's acceptable dude, look for you him. to do that because you're like, oh yeah, you can be here. You're a knock. You're supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on in. Like, if I was just like sightseeing, I would get fucked up. That but if Cat Williams shows up, it's looking. like, oh, he's part. You're part of the market. You he's know all what I mean? sweaty like, and sick you're looking. You're part of the market. In that video, yo, he, he looks. He looks like he's death in that video, bro. He's all fucked. He looks like Bubbles from fucking The Wire, bro. Like oh, it God. looks bad, dude. It's, yeah. it's but that motherfucker, bad. that mother, he was he was on some shit. And, and like the night before the show, he was in jail because he invited some kid onto his tour bus. I guess some fucking twenty year old that was walking down the street and started rap battling this kid. Started <laughs> losing his rap battle to some fucking random kid, and then punched the kid in the face. And then the kid pressed charges, so he spent the night in jail. That's what yeah. disaster before. would do if disaster had a tour bus and shit. He'd just be in town. You're He'd be super. like, "Come on, come on the bus and battle." Me. <laughs> yeah, but like it's, it's a little just like throw him off the bus <laughs> through the window and shit. <laughs> no, disaster would beat you in the battle and then beat you up and throw you off the bus. Oh, <laughs> like, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's amazing though. I'm so I'm so stoked that he's so into rap battle. I think he's gaining. Like you know what though, man. Like if he, you know what, if Cat Williams could get his shit together. Oh, he's somehow, the man. If somehow through all this he could be like, all right, I'm gonna sober up and then I'm gonna write like one more crazy stand up set. <laughs> yeah, man. And if he comes back yeah. out, it'll right be now, everybody best. talking about and then it. It'll he, be he the needs best. To have DMX set. be he, his he opening be like, act. So DMX his first, performance. His fucking intro could be like, motherfucker, I just got manhandled by a 14 year old all right yeah. ain't shit that you guys could tell me up here and he'd probably start like everybody would die laughing yeah. he could he could literally he could build talk about this. being scared of having kids because they're gonna beat him up but no, that the same all depends thing, uh, on how bad he needs crack bro it's the same thing uh richard hey, Pryor yeah. lighting himself on fire and oh, then yeah. coming back and having the fucking oh, best yeah. set of his yeah, entire yeah, shit yeah. Yeah. like the best special Nobody ever is post that, that you know what i mean light so himself on fire like that. yeah that's what i'm saying that's but, it, i mean this is like a three three years coming like i said this is a while ago that he's out in oakland tweaking and I, like, yeah, shit's I think, just I think been progressive. It's a different situation than what I'm talking about. It's wishful thinking, but yeah, you know, at the that end would of the be day, tight though. If he figured it out, it would it would kind of be the equivalent. Of well, I don't know, man. Hopefully, that he's just smoking crack cocaine because if he if, if he's graduated to meth at this point, then he's not gonna. At some point, that shit makes it to where you can't be normal anymore, and you're just yeah, because you're done. super normal. Yeah, on your crack. brains. Yeah. No, well, no, you're you're not like when you're on the crack, <laughs> when you're, you're on fucking, the crack. you're fucked up. But you could like get off the crack and yeah, then regain some kind of normal. Yeah, what else? Happens? But if you and smoke a bunch of meth, of you can't come back. Like you're gone. But you know I, what I mean? from what I understand it. Uh, Traditionally, from what I hear, yeah, right? I mean, same from shit, what I right? Hear you're pretty fucked crack. up after crack. Too. I just feel like I, meth I think is you're pretty faster. Done. You I know think what I mean? Like the come down, huh? Well, I mean, like I feel like you would be fucked up when you're oh, after, high, like, after, and then like, you, yo, know, I, 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 there's still. two yeah. mayors of major cities that have smoked crack cocaine. Oh, please don't. None of them have smoked. No, there's no meth mayors. Don't defamate the homie. Meth mayors? You don't know that. Yeah, you. I might. You probably like some dude in Alabama's. Like, yeah. I'm the mayor of this I'm town. the mayor of Meth Town. <laughs> I'm the mayor of Squirrel City. <laughs> the mayor of Squirrel City. Uh, <laughs> wow. uh, wow. All right, all right. That was let's, an amazing noise. Lo, let's get into some <laughs> yeah, battle rap there? news. Oh, I heard a story. Uh, I heard a story. Did you know? I heard that, uh, and I, this could be one a rumor, man. but I heard I heard two men two own men. one own one car. <laughs> They have one means of transportation. <laughs> I, I heard. I heard. Two men. One I heard insurance policy. Sounds like Charlie Clips and DNA. No, it's it's K Shine and DNA. Oh I heard K Shine and DNA bought a car together. Yeah. Like, as a pair of humans. Ah. Are they? Hey, honey, we're over here. <laughs> Listen, we're not going to splurge today. <laughs> I no. want this one. <laughs> no, but I mean, like. <laughs> no, I want no. this one. I was a car salesman for a long time, so like I could imagine oh, like shit. having them come to my dealership. I look, I'm just going to be honest with you. I was a murderer. Like I was like I could have been a closer after that. I was destroying people. That's why I wanted to leave it cuz I had to pound families into like debt for their <laughs> existence. Dude, sales <laughs> I would have ruined up. DNA K-Shine coming to my dealership. I'll be like, "Look. You would have upsold the fuck out of those rappers." 7,000 on the sticker. <laughs> and I would have just been like, "Look, man, don't worry about the price of this car. We just need to figure out what you like first. But how much is this one though?" No. <laughs> I'd be like, look, we can look around all day in the lot right now for all the cars 
cars in the world that you like, but if it's not the car that you want, there's no, we don't need to find, because, you know, my dealership, like the way we work, there was no prices on the cars. Yeah. So you just have to come in there and, the, you know, parents. And try to talk your way you know, through white it. people would come in, like <laughs> yeah. the hardest were, oh God. hardest were Koreans. That's and, my and, nightmare and right there. Koreans and Russians <laughs> and, and Indians were like impossible to sell cars to. Like if you could, then you were like the man, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But like someone like DNA and Kayshawn, they would come in there. I would ru- see the problem is your credit. Ah. <laughs> yeah, the interest rate is going to be 9% for this one. And I could really get it for like two or three. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just going to be like poundage, bro. But hopefully you guys got a good deal. I'm pretty sure that you yelled at each other after that. Like, I told you we weren't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. don't, they're, they're two men, like friends, that bought a car together. That's fucking <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't even think. Like bro, like I keep on like th- I I didn't think of it. Who like the that. fuck would if you were buy a show. car with? Even if it was your, your girl, brother. no, 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 your imagine, girl. No, imagine when they start fighting. Your girl, your girl That's is the only f- person yeah. you no, buy a car person. with. And I wouldn't even do that. Yeah. But like you know what though? Imagine when they start fighting. They're like, all right, well I'm gonna I'm gonna take the other half of the whip home. <laughs> I'm gonna they're take gonna, the front. They bought a car so they could move to Vermont together. <laughs> what if they just start picking what? it apart happening? when they're fighting, bro. Like, who? What's gonna happen when they get? It's into definitely it they, like so they, they can get to battles. You they're know like, what look, I mean? Whatever we do, we can like, never yo, get into hey, beef yo, with each other. We paying way too much money for battle. these plane tickets. <laughs> I got yo. I got drive. an idea. Yo, we make them give us money for the plane tickets, <laughs> and, and we'll drive and there. Yo, I and half of our car. Hey, I get the insurance. You pay for the car. Oh. Oh, <laughs> hey, yo, maybe we could tag team this car together. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Hey, yo, I know what we should do. We should battle a car together. Dude, that's <laughs> ridiculous, bro. That's all they do when they drive anywhere is they, they battle the car. The front and they're just battling the dashboard. <laughs> hey, yo, I said, listen, we could have better got a better air condition. <laughs> but when I'm flipping, that means the hot shit is broken and now I'm sweating. <laughs> Roll down the window. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, no, that's really funny though. That's yeah, crazy. man, I. It's, I I'm can sorry. We, oh, can we get? The, I hope it's a nice car. <laughs> can we get the meme on that? Uh, oh God! Steve Finch uh, uh, <laughs> made a meme. Look, dude, where's our car? <laughs> 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 Shouts out. Yo, who's Finch, bro? I'm yeah, no, he he sent a video question, so oh, we'll get to talk man. to him at the end. Well He's made done. some other memes. Disaster, he made this meme. Uh, can we pull up the other one that Fucking he made? Finch, uh, bro. He made uh he Whoa. made uh this classic oh, week weekend yeah. at Jonesy's. That was incredible. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you, man. I, I put that up on my Instagram real quick. And yeah. And I would have gave you a shout out. Did I? I hope that's I so. Did. Well, yeah, you probably did. You probably so did. well did. done. If you didn't, his his uh Instagram is on the screen. So there you go. It's so it's so well done. Yeah, man, you the fuck, dude, the fucking, the, go back to the dude. Where's our car? What, first of all, amazing. <laughs> it's so well. Yeah, Just the crazy. concept, dude. Where's our car? The pictures he picked are fucking perfect. <laughs> oh Look at DNA's God. face. Look at his like, fucking face. Car, man, yo. <laughs> yo, he's like, I don't even know where the car is. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> yo, K Shine, where you parking? <laughs> He's like, yo, Reed, where is it at? He's like, it's in the car. Bro. Hey, you know, Charlie's right. got his own car. <laughs> Charlie's got his own car. <laughs> Maybe he'll pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, that's ridiculous. They, it's because he got tired of fighting with Charlie in the Uber. Yo. <laughs> that's one of the best stories. Hey, I though. never got to take an Uber. It's that. tight because it's happened at multiple I events. I stupid for telling people. It's like, did you think people were not going to really laugh at this? I bet we're not the only people doing this. I don't know. We like, can't be, are we? I don't think you that think people... People like, dedicated yeah, yeah, Photoshop time. Yeah, they made a meme. Uh, I, dude, you yeah, can't... I don't think these guys are... Uh, are yeah, that shit was uh, popping on the talk back uh, for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You, I mean, Dude, where's our car? You can't do anything in this world, this battle rap world that is secret, like for real. Like you better just be who you are because it's gonna come out in a battle. And these fools bought a car together, and they just were like, "Yeah, this is a good idea." I wonder if they're at the dealership and everyone just recognized we're buying a car together, and they're like, "Yeah, man, we need a new tag team." Dude, that, that shit is. That be shit. like Ashley Schaefer and shit. He's got a shark's hat on in that picture. They just come make appearances. I think they just put that Incredible. On. <laughs> no, no. I think, I think, I think he had a shark's hat on. It's probably because he battled out. Did he battle out? Here? Yeah, he did battle out. You know he, he wore a shark's hat. He, he, he did. He did look that confused the whole time I was talking. He bought it out Fucking here. terrible <laughs> shit to his face. Uh, oh, yeah, that's hella funny. Oh, yeah, we both I buy hats based on the city I'm going to. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So many guys do that as a tactic. I just want to fit in. Hey, that's one, cool. more, one more fun <laughs> bit of that. Wanna, I don't want anybody to freestyle about the local team. You just want to fit in? <laughs> one more uh, bit of battle rap news. Uh, I wanna, I, I we missed this. Calls. <laughs> we missed this shit earlier because uh, uh, it happened last week. Oh John God. John the Don went oh on a holocaust denying yeah, what spree. What in the shit? Like he what went, the like, fuck? Sometimes we kid. But uh, I mean, you and him, boy, dude. So did you guys like get lunch or what? That's fucking hilarious, <laughs> dude. He was hamming out, dude. Were he you was like, like, were you like, he was finally. like, I didn't say it's not real. He he I just think it. it's blown out of proportion. <laughs> it's just like, no, dude. He's like, fuck. no one got killed in any gas chambers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, what the fuck <laughs> are you talking <laughs> about? Your... No, my friend, uh, the best shit he said is, it's like, there's an oven that could kill that many people. <laughs> 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 Come on. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. Mike, do you don't think they did it in like groups? <laughs> Yo, I want to. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to propose. Thought there was like a fucking I'll just put it in one, there once. <laughs> one oven. He's like, let's get a baking sheet and get all the Jews on it. <laughs> I want to. I, okay, I want to propose something. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the means, but I have the, the, the brains. And I'd love, to, I'd love for someone to make this happen. Let's create a TV show where we, I don't, we'll call it something like proving stupid people wrong. And we just, we like, we take John John the Don to Auschwitz and have him tour Dude, a Holocaust that's gonna be camp. Like 40 you know what I mean? Seasons of that show. Dude, or we go, okay, we take B.O.B. on like Richard Branson takes him on one of those planes that goes into space and shit and then you're like see the earth's round he's like oh fuck i'm an idiot that's such a great like half an hour of tv right is this like some idiot finding out some shit that they were saying on the internet is totally <laughs> wrong yeah like here look this is the oven that they cooked people in john john you're like oh shit <laughs> you can't hey man you can't fit hella people in this yeah. stuff hey yo i was wrong about what i said on twitter <laughs> You could fit. I'm look. I'm over six feet, and I'm inside this oven. <laughs> Maybe not all the I'm Jews, but a lot of Jews. Yes, and there was. I mean, if they put them in in shifts, then yeah. I mean, yeah. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I take back I guess, what I said. I guess not all at once. What a fucking asshole you are, John. Why did okay? Yeah, my, why are you what even? Why are you stupid, even talking about fucking it? Fucking retarded thing to say. <laughs> why would that even come up? Like what? You where, just what one was day he, you're What like, was he doing? No. Where he's like, you know, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't believe it. Who convinced you with this? <laughs> what did he watch? He must have like he was watching some videos on YouTube and was just like, "Yep, fucking bullshit." Hold on, here you go. Here you go, my twenty thousand Twitter friend followers. Here's some. Let me tell you something about the Sprinkle Holocaust. you with a little bit of truth, real quick. <laughs> Holy shit! You're welcome. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> like he's all, and the moon is a prop. He went on, dude. It's like a forty tweet. Thing like because people were going back there, like, dude, you're come away. Are you serious? I think he was slowly like changing his opinion, yeah. Like, <laughs> he started shifting out of it, like, no, no, that's not what I was saying, but I was saying uh, it. I'm not saying that they didn't kill all the Jews, <laughs> they, they killed, they killed most, but of he them. didn't do it in one oven, so <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah, they didn't bad. just have a giant fucking uh, Kenmore. So fucking Is it really a tragedy oh. if they used multiple ovens? <laughs> they were like, you know what. What the G fuck GE wasn't saying? even a big enough company yet yeah. to make an oven that big. <laughs> Trust right. me, North Korea is working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Giant underground ovens where they're just gonna, all going to march us in like mole people. <laughs> I guess he's never heard like, testimonies that completely... Like, yeah, like, up. okay, so I read... You can't have like millions of people telling the same fucking lie. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I read... Just, uh, after a while, it would be obvious, you know what I mean? Like, Dude, the moon they're landing they're is way more of like a plausible hoax. Well, the moon than... landing, listen, bro, there's things about the moon landing that you got to fucking understand like before you even get into it. If you understand that <laughs> NASA... <gets laughs> Woo! All right. NASA, yeah, I, I, get it. I don't know, man, if I should really start getting into Let's this shit. I should really talk about let's this shit. fucking go yeah. here's the reality of the situation if you guys really uh, follow the shit then you understand that nasa has been known to put cgi out there and that's just a fact so what you're seeing is never the real thing in fact you've never seen a picture of any of earth none of that shit like nasa doesn't show you any of the real shit you never anything they show you is computer generated the shit so. that's being shown in hollywood people are using the same shit in the it's computer generated shit you're not seeing any real time stuff never 
never ever so well because it seems difficult because you know, it's like millions of light years no away. because like You're okay the moon millions landing of light years like, away. how about this bro <laughs> this is why you know the moon landing was bullshit here here's three random fucking things fuck the fucking flag and all that how do i quantum shit. leave to first of all you have earth. a spaceship and you leave from earth Wait. All right, and then you leave Earth. I have a spaceship, and then and and then you're you're going in the space shuttle, and you're going to fucking to the moon, right? But you only cover the takeoff and the landing. But that whole space of flying through that whole fucking area, the film was off. You never have footage of it. You've never seen any of it. Nobody sees any of it. Why don't you know what that looks like? Why was there a camera on the moon when they got there, picturing the landing? They were. They had somebody already there they, filming. They didn't take other they pictures. The, they <laughs> they, they the took the one. Crew. They got hella lazy. They, they had the whole filming crew already there f- uh, shooting the <laughs> fucking land. Like they, we have now arrived. The, and then they had a filming crew filming while they left. And now we're going back home. <laughs> and you're seeing it from a camera as it leaves the moon. Here's my whole question. Is Come like, on, bro. It's fucking garbage. Here's, here's my question. It's hold on. It's a race to arms. Just so people know. It was a race to arms with Russia. We wanted to bankrupt Russia. The plan was to send them into billions of dollars of space programming that led to fucking nowhere because we're geniuses. And the reality of this situation is America knew that, oh, we have Hollywood, what they don't have. We could create perceptions. <laughs> we are more talented at making people see whatever the fuck we want them yeah. to see. So here's what you're going to see. We went to the moon, Russians. Now you go to the moon. So then... <laughs> They poured billions of dollars into it, and 20, 30, 40 years later, Russia got no more economy. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. you want to wonder why the, Putin wants to bomb us because he knows all this shit. I will say this. So, yeah. The point I was trying <laughs> to make was is that it's way easier for something like that to be a hoax, which, like, is, is a select number of people are involved in than, like, a mass global event like the holocaust where like hundreds and thousands of people were like witnessed to now, that's, displaced the by you can't deny <laughs> that's, that's you retarded. can't deny that's a thing effect. that like affected that so an atro- many people atro- atrocity against mankind and you can never ever not deny that like period like it's just the, it's one of the worst things that's ever fucking happened in human history like well you know and like, so many years happen. later you're still <laughs> denying it well like, too it's like come on how much how much footage and how many like it was not it's not like it happened in a time too where people weren't fucking around and had cameras and millions of things to fucking record shit with like, yeah, it's yeah. not like it happened in fucking the 1800s. Like, no, they have okay, the pictures of it. If it happened in the it. 1800s, then okay, then yeah, it might be blown it. out of it proportion. Blown they were out still trying to yeah. figure out film. No, they had hell of pictures yeah. of that shit. There's so many pictures. No, they, they, I read, uh, but I read Night like by Ellie Wiesel, fucking coverage, you which know, was like a, a, an account <laughs> of uh, of a yeah. person in uh, Ellie Wiesel was a dude who actually, and he's like that guy passed away in the 90s. You know what I mean? Like people were alive. I, there's probably someone who is still alive who was in a concentration camp at some well, point. So it's not I like mean, something yeah, even still, past they're that. They're still living Holocaust. They're, they're still living Holocaust survivors. Yeah. They're about. They're about. So almost fuck off. Out, but they're still, but they're still so, there. So fuck they're, off, John. Here's my John. question about the moon. You're insensitive. Thing. Oh yeah, what's up with the moon? It's thing? like, dude, when they landed, and, the moon and they're fake. like, they they showed them like planting the flag. Right. Is that all they did? They did, pretty they much that's like, what they showed us. It was the most te- first of well, all, it was the most televised. What thing were they in supposed to be doing up there? They just didn't plant the flag. We were, and supposed, they were, we, were we were supposed to just go to the moon. You samples. know what they're doing in space <laughs> that's now? What it was about. It was really one you know leap for mankind. You center. know what they're doing in space now? You know what NASA's doing they're in not space? Not doing now? anything. There Fucking is no space. Nothing. They don't have there the is money. No space. It's space is privatized. Space is privatized. There's independent motherfuckers who are flying rockets by themselves, like just billionaire dudes who are like, I, Man, I there's a belt. A there's a belt of radiation around us, and you cannot escape it. I don't give a fuck what any of these guys are saying. <laughs> these guys that. are not going to space. It's bullshit. That. I it's love that. bullshit. What about uh, the dude? What about the? Uh, they didn't go to space. What about the uh, <laughs> the Red Bull dude? I, I watched know, jump from the stratosphere and shit. I think you might be wrong. Uh, on this he whole jumped. Have to do he anything. jumped He's from the the lowest point or the highest point of the atmosphere. Yeah, he was still in our atmosphere. Oh, he shit. wasn't in space. <laughs> he it was called a space jump because it was he pretty fucking, much ridiculous. That motherfucker looked like he was in space. space. Well, well, yeah, there's no like real breathable you know oxygen, oxygen and shit up there. Jumped from space, right? He would have turned into a Yo, but cats like Elon fire. Musk, you better believe, are building like spaceships and weird shit like <laughs> that. They got their own <laughs> privatized plans for fucking space. Oh, yeah, Elon Musk is, is, is a crazy motherfucker. And fucking like, uh, even, that, even that dude Richard Branson is like, got his own little secret fucking rocket ship. You know what I mean? Like, Good for them, man. Good for them. Well, I just think it's funny (laughs) that they privatize space. I think that's dope. Like, 
that, that oh, the government's that, like that nobody that's can some go bullshit. there except and billionaires. That's some bullshit. <laughs> because that there's is. a there's a thing about it. Before you go to space, you need to learn secrecy because it's not meant for everybody. And you know what? It's meant to be that way. Fuck all the Thanos people. is fuck, out there. You know what? Any conspiracy theorists the that are trying to expose gauntlet. or whatever need to shut the fuck up because there's things that are meant to be that way. We're not supposed to go there because that's what it is. Because people can't handle it. Some people might be able to handle it, but I guarantee you that shit ain't for are everybody. Fuck our ass. Whatever the fuck is is out there, it's not for everybody. Probing, Put it that bro. way. That's why you have to go through a rigorous form of secrecy before you get into that. I you hope know, Donald Trump gets probed by aliens. I hope he gets fucking imploded by fucking a, a Death Star. I'm not talking about yeah, extraterrestrials. Not, not extraterrestrials. I'm talking about fucking Mexicans. Illegals. <laughs> Illegal alien probing. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. All right. Uh, let, moving right that. along, bro. Let's talk about disaster. Oh, God. Uh, Fucking Iron Solomon battle. I feel like lived up to everybody's expectations, which is so fucking hard to do Rare. when everybody's expectations are fucking through the roof for both of you guys, especially since like you weren't coming off a bad battle. You were coming off a good battle. Yeah. So people had already like and, and I think that. The general consensus is is that you even stepped it up a notch this time in your performance. Definitely. I mean, from my Jonai battle, I definitely. I mean, it was a different level. The Jonai battle was like. Well, the Jonai battle was a slaughter. The uh, the dumbfounded <laughs> battle. The dumbfounded battle was, I think, the first time that you had like dedicated yourself to really like, like rehearsing a set material yeah. instead of just having a bunch of bars. You and know going, the monk shit. In there. The monk shit. I thought of three days before the battle. That wasn't even part of it. But like, I'll I'll tell you guys why. If I haven't said this, like the monk shit. What I did with dumbfounded was a complete tactic to to, to match up to how funny he is because I knew. The Canadian crowd was going to be like, oh, my God, he's so funny. And they're just going to be like, he's so mad. And they're just going to, like, laugh at me. So <laughs> I had to do something to no, counter yeah, that. For sure. There's nothing you could do. Dumbfounded is too You can't, like, funny, aggressively bro. rap he, to you that. Cannot. He's too funny. But the thing is, even if you try to out-funny him by itself, I thought that it would be enough. But mm. it's still because it's his thing that will give it to him. I figured to be over the top, I needed to just become a monk. <laughs> And I knew I was gonna crush him if I became a monk, and I think it threw him off when he seen no, me well, as a it, monk. He was like, "This battle's over." It, well, it I allowed, think that's what he thought in his head. Like, okay, this is about to be his show, and I'm just gonna hang in here and do my thing. I think that's it allowed think. you to be aggressive and it be funny. The you know what were, I mean? Like, because if you were yeah, doing like the same character. kind of crazy shit, like staring and like kicking and shit with just I regular let him blow clothes anthrax on, in my no, face. you did, and you <laughs> didn't, and I thought that was cool too. But if you were just doing, buddy's like, I'll allow that. <laughs> I didn't like no, he was like, that's, that's okay. Funny. He's, he's like, like, that's, that's o- funny. He's like, that's okay. Yeah, he's like, that's, that's okay. funny. That's, yeah, I, said, I was like, that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Because so like, it's dumbfounded, bro. What am I going to do? Hey, fucking it, slap hey, dumbfounded no, and break you... his neck in seven places? Like, I love dumbfounded. <laughs> like, what am I going to do? Like, is I, you know what I mean? I'm going to get mad at him for that shit. But like, same time, you uh, know, he thought about it after he did it. He was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> no, I looked at it. You know, I really love dumbfounded, but like, if that shit would have like got in my eye, like it almost did. It got on my eyelash and then it like flicked it off. But if that powder went into my eye and then I couldn't see, I probably would have fucking got mad, bro. Nah, you would have been like, you would have been like Frank Dukes in the Kumite, bro. You'd have been like, no, you know what I would have did? I probably would have landed the final kicks. <laughs> I probably would have just landed that last one, like just, bro, just like, just like Frank Dukes in the fucking Kumite, bro. He yep. did. He couldn't see. He got he got powder blown in his face, and then he did a spinning roundhouse kick on the Asian dude. Come on, bro. Yeah. Except. The Asian that dude was fucking shit. Bolo Young. Yeah, yeah, about blood sport, right? yeah. No, yeah. yes, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> of course, yeah. of course. Blood sport. Yeah. The quid. Yeah, no, that was amazing. Chung Lee. Yeah. Chung Lee. I love Van Damme. Dude, you know that what? basically happened to you. <laughs> I'm gonna watch oh, yeah, blood sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Asian dude blew powder in your face, and then you <laughs> roundhouse kicked him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wow. you had a hella blood sport. Oh, that we battle was blood sport. sport. Okay, no, no, moving no. right along. Yeah. Jonai That's battle, fucking, cool, man. fucking <laughs> slaughter. Yeah, here in San Jose. Oh, shouts here in out San Jose. That this was a great. It was. I always hold f- uh, the San Jose now like close in my heart because it was like a crazy moment for me, and I just and, and I just went off. Like if they people saw me, I went to the hotel. I brought my music downstairs, started blaring West Coast shit in the pool, started swimming <laughs> with my crown on, <laughs> drinking, swimming with my crown, and Jonai and his brothers walked by and see me in the pool. Were like. And just kept on walking. And I was swimming with my crown on like a shark. <laughs> with my like, crown moving in the water and shit. Like I was being such a dickhead. Like instead of a fin, you could see a crown popping up out of the water. I started doing like 
and they just walked by all mad and shit. Like it, it was just a great time for me. I was playing crazy music. No, it's only funny because they're hella serious. Too serious. Like, I capitalized off it. Yo, I did to Joe Nye and his brothers what I always thought someone was gonna do to me. And I was just like, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be the guy that ends up being too serious and somebody makes fun of me for this, like dumbfounded. I was like, fuck this. I'm going to do this to somebody. <laughs> I was like, and yeah. then it was Joe and I, like, just, oh, mo- rah, 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 rah. I was just like, oh, bro, he's like an old disaster. I'm going to choose. That's so funny <laughs> how you shifted that role from battle to battle. The exact same fucking thing you couldn't do against dumbfounded, you had to do against. Jonja, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Jonja. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jonja. I love how everybody <laughs> has... Your name is Gaglanta. <laughs> yeah, active, active, <laughs> <laughs> active call him Gohan. <laughs> Gohan? So so, Gohan? Where's, where's Gohan? <laughs> <laughs> my, my boys call him Gohan. Everybody Yo, calls him all uh, the We call him uh, Jonga around here, I Jonga. think. Jonga? But, uh, uh, but my favorite was... Your name is Gong. <laughs> <laughs> Your you name is Gong. You even like you can never make that, that noise again. That's the funniest shit in the world to me. It's just like a. Your was, name is Gong. I was standing like up on the. Oh, when like, I was like, your name is Gong. I like the perfect view of it. You <laughs> know why? I think some people don't get how funny that is because when people <laughs> read his fucking name, <laughs> it's like <laughs> like when I read his name on the paper, it's it's like trying to pronounce his name is like <laughs> so. I felt like saying that would be like giving people a reminder what they felt like yeah, when yeah. they read it and couldn't. <laughs> understand it. It was like your name is <laughs> your name is Kaplafla. <laughs> your name is Long. It's a real Albanian family. He's actually from like a royal family in Albania. Like it's crazy. Like it, it really looks is. like a royal Albanian. No, because you know what I thought at first. Like I like because I didn't know shit about this kid. So like when I put Jonai in, I was like I'm gonna put this in Google to see what the fuck it even means. Yeah. Like so I put Jonai meaning or whatever because I was like what does this mean? Is he trying to be some kind of superhero? And it turns out to be some like rich family from Albania or something. He's a royal Albanian. Then why do you, the royal Albanian. Then why do you live they're in Detroit? They're probably a strong family. <laughs> no, um, I mean, they're probably a strong family out there. I wouldn't deny it. You know what I mean? They're, uh, you know. So uh, then, uh, uh, going into the Solomon like battle, Eastern. and I knew, I think a lot of people knew you were going to end up battling Solomon because it was just like we, they knew he had inevitable. a bunch of battles with King inevitable. of the Dot. So it was everybody like, knew disaster was going to be one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, even yeah. knew. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, okay, so I'm probably going to battle Solomon in the future. So then I asked Gannick about it, and I was like, Gannick, I was like. What's up, bro? He just did incredible against Daylight. I was like, I'm, I, I think I should battle him. And he's like, he's like, you know what? He doesn't want to jump in right away right now. He wants to like kind of warm up with a couple cats. And he like gave some names. Obviously, I'm not going to spoil that for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Solomon sure. had some names like yeah. he was thinking of. And I wasn't one of them at first. So when it was first brought up after the Daylight battle, it was like a kind of like nah thing. And then I don't know what happened. Like it was like right after, I don't know what happened. It was just right when blackout five was announced and all the calls started and like i was on the phone with bishop and they were like i felt like they were hinting to give me sharon or somebody and i just like was already like kind of like <laughs> impress me what do you got could i get mook lux or somebody and it was just like obviously i'm not gonna get like diva ass bitch ass motherfucker yeah, but, yeah, then yeah, he, yeah but then he was just i was just like yo if you could get me iron or somebody because he like struck me as somebody as like that would be a perfect formidable opponent and then i was yeah. like and he's like yeah i could do that i was like you're full of shit i already know you can't and he really pulled it off. I, I give Bishop props for that. He actually pulled that off. Like he, he. I don't know how what he said to him. He called me back like the next day. Like yo, he's down. I was like, are you serious right now? I had to like think for a second. Should I do this, man? Everybody. And then I was like, fuck yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Anybody like you. You're one of those fucking dudes. You're on like the the list. You're on anybody's top three list of motherfuckers to battle. You know what I, I feel mean? Like a like, lot of people have bars for me in that sense too. Like I yeah. felt like Solomon had to be slightly ready in some way for him. He knew it was going to happen at some point in his life, and he got the call, and he thought, "Why the fuck am I waiting? Let's just do this shit now." You know what I mean? Like yeah. I can't think of any of like because there's no way he's going to be like, "Nah." I'm not battling disaster. Like, I think he for just what? wanted to wait. I think, but the thing is, like, for me, like, here's the thing. Like, I understand how battling works so good. You got to strike while the iron is hot. No pun intended. Like, it's real shit. You got to, oh. <laughs> you got to, you got to really, you got to really strike while the iron's hot. Like, when a rapper is doing really good, you don't wait till he does, like, whack, and then you go, yo, let me battle you. What if I uh, let Solomon get off of the warm up? Like, okay, Solomon, you battle somebody else and I'll battle you after this. And then he just did trash and then everybody doesn't want to see him. Then what is our battle? Yeah. No, yeah. no, you're he absolutely He came right. off a good battle with Daylight and That's I felt like this was him. the opportunity. Yeah. Like, I should battle him now because I feel like I have so much respect for him that I'm going to not damage his image. Like, I, 
I'm not saying that I held back on him because I didn't. But I'm saying I can <laughs> yeah. damage somebody's you're not, image. You're not taking it to I'm that level. I'm not trying level. to damage you're his image. Yeah. I could have. I could. Yeah. I could try to or attempt or whatever. You weren't gonna. You didn't want to disrespect him as I a didn't. person. You I know knew I, mean? I was gonna. This is what I thought. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna let him win, and I'm gonna win more than him. This is what I was thinking in my head. Yeah. Like, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make him win. And then I'm just going to slightly look better somehow. Like, I don't want to win, but I just want this to look crazy, and I don't want a body. I even said that in the interviews. Like, yeah. I do not want a body from this. Because if I would have bodied him, what do you think would have people would have said? Fuck this battle. You still ain't done nothing. Yeah. Uh, Mook bodied him, too, which he didn't. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they, they played him. Yeah. This was You got to see the difference between when Solomon is able to get his shit off and get his respect, how much of a skill MC he is. And I'm glad that he's we He's clearly, like, having a lot more success oh, and, he's so and happy right fun now. in he's the King of the Dot. He's happy as fuck now, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, reading comments that are really good. Like, bro, imagine all that poison he had to deal with after the smack shit. And that's, like, yeah. again, like, the reason why I love King of the Dot so much because the fans are less, like, poison. And they like really support. Bro, like, he showed up with pink eye, and he like. He bro, he showed up with pink eye. He would have never. He would have never showed up to King of the Dot. With, or, I mean, he would have never showed up to URL with pink eye. No way, yo. When no I way, seen him with pink re- eye, re- look, I'm gonna be honest. He would have rescheduled that shit. When I seen him with pink eye, I was like, this guy is gonna lose badly. <laughs> he's today. like, he's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. He's and you know what? Mind. This guy is stupid for coming down here. Should have had a blindfold on or some shit, or just not even battled. I was thinking like, bro. Why even tell me? Because when I first seen him... Say you got punched. Bro, when I first seen him, I was like, yo... I was like, you popped a blood vessel, didn't you? Because I, yeah. normally, I normally yeah. can tell, bro. I'm like, when I look that. at people and I see something wrong with them, I'm like, you did this or that. And they're like, yeah, how did you know? Like, I was like, you popped a blood vessel. I was sure when I told him, you popped a... He was like, nah, man, I got pink eye. I was like, this motherfucker just gave himself away right before, yes. and I hit him with a punchline over it. Yes, I hit him with like two or something. Oh, I gave, I you gave you, to. I gave you a super oh good one. God, no, you right. told you me, you told me, what was I? I, I no, you told me like it. one, but I used the di- no, you yeah. used a different one. It was close to it. I yeah, mean, no, you I, told me. I said one. I was like. I was going to make fun of your pink eye, but that's some baby shit. Oh, yeah, the baby <laughs> shit. I was th- Yeah, that was some funny shit. I would have even used that, like, to be honest with you. Because that's some baby I, I shit. Yeah, no, that was, that was really good. That's that how was we got funny. I remember eye. you saying that because we were all... From baby on. shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because, yeah, that, you know, he's a, he's a new dad and he's... I kept saying battle. the whole time, I'm like, yeah, man, good, good shit. <laughs> I did that with no, everybody. No, like, like everybody I, was sick that week. Big T looked like he had Ebola. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I love you, Big T, but you look like you caught yeah, some he was Zika like shit. Yeah. You look like you had some West Nile African shit, like some he real some like Zika. voodoo virus. Like yo yo, <laughs> Chalaka boo you with some fucking uh, serum. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. I had to tell, hey, I love oh, you, T, shit. from far away with the salute. Like, salute, T. Shalaka Voodoo. Oh, he's Shalaka. my fan. Dude, you know what? He's a fucking T, soldier, yeah. too, he because ripped. he got in the ring and Still didn't did look it. like he was like, like, when his battle comes out, you ain't going to know he was sick. Bro, to be honest with when you, he's bro, like, when I seen him in the hallway, like, I was like, oh, he's not rapping. No, I know. He looked like he was dead. And then Pat showed up like... Hey, what's up? What's going on with you guys? Bro? Hey, what's going on with you guys? Bro? Dude, that was something. The funniest else, shit was sitting like, look, Sirius Jones is that the homie. Sirius is the homie. I love Sirius, but like, we were sitting there and like, Sirius is a knucklehead, bro. He's like such a stubborn fucking guy. Cause I was like, bro, he has no voice. And Sirius is like, he's ducking me. I was like, bro. <laughs> I was like, I, I was, I was with you the whole time when I heard his Instagram. I was like, yeah, he was ducking because it sounded like he had a voice. But he's downstairs right now and he has no vocal box. And Sirius was like, nah, B, he's scared. <laughs> I was like, bro. I was like, bro. He's just, he has no voice. Like he just wouldn't. Dude, care. he had okay. So he had Such absolutely no voice. He had absolutely he was, no Sirius voice no mercy, except bro. for when he was screaming at the bar, huh? Yeah. Screaming. Hey. Except for when he was screaming at, at the, the bar. bar. He was just at one point, he was screaming at the bar, and I could hear him from where I was at like the pay per view spot oh, pretty shit. far away. So you think he was And then out? Sirius, no, I don't think he was faking shit. I, I just think that like he you use a different voice. part of your voice when you're yeah, fucking you're like, screaming. Uh, and yeah. he got drunk to where he didn't <laughs> care that he lost his voice anymore. And what Pat said, and, and this was very true. That his vocal cords would get damaged for a lot. If yeah. he did if it like that, and he would. But then he was there screaming. Because he was drunk. Damaging his care. vocal yeah, cords yeah. for life yeah. anyways. Yeah, no, he's Bro, a there's a video we played it where he's like coming out as like a shark. in advance. It yeah, did because yeah, yeah. his voice was he he went to a doctor and shit. Well, like, he kept coming advanced, and going yeah. away. I his think that's shit, what's like what's wrong with Pat's uh, voice is is like 
it needs time to heal. Like he he fucked his shit up. Basically, it's because he fucking screams his whole shit. He doesn't like rap from his yeah, yeah. diaphragm or whatever. He just he's like, rah, 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 the, yeah. yeah. And the way that he's using his voice is is detrimental to his fucking That's shit. Right. Dude, there's some there's a lot of like uh, metal band dudes like that. You got it. That uh, that fucking had to quit the game because they fucking destroyed their vocals. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? It's got to take a toll. Speaking yeah. of metal bands, shouts out the uh, Black Sabbath, Dio. All oh, right. yeah. yeah. Holy Dio. R.I.P. Dio. <laughs> you know what that song's about, right? Uh, no, you, it's cool. Don't. Just watch it. It's about heroin. Over. It is? Yeah. It sounds like a the drug tiger, song. Like, the, the, his, you can see his stripes, but you know he's clean Bro, and shit. I'm pretty sure. When he says ride the tiger, it's the funny shit. I'm pretty sure that song's about fucking nothing. <laughs> Holy Diver. Holy Diver. Yes. He, Holy no. Diver is about heroin. Every every I single right. word. I think I, I felt because like of that about one drugs line. Because it was so, the next line he's like, thing. "Ride the tiger in the eyes of the cat in the black and blue. Someone is coming for you. He's probably talking about heroin. Look out! Yeah. Like <laughs> race <laughs> race for the morning. The police are going you to find, find me because I'm doing if too you much heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, dude, listen, like, the words, they literally make no fucking sense whatsoever. No, Same crazy. thing with the uh, rainbow in the dark. Every single word is That's like. Right. Rainbow in the dark makes seems no like sense. a metaphor to I something promise like. I Holy is about heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think he, he knows that. Like, best best go Rodney go James Dio song. My, 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 my. If you listen to Fools, The Mob Rules, it's a Black Sabbath song. He was lead singer of Black Sabbath for a Wait, little what while. Song? If you listen to Fools, the mob rules. Uh, I'm going to listen to uh, that. It's a good one. I love that um, fool, to be honest with you. He's, he gets me and makes me want to sob people <coughs> out when I listen wow. to it. So I have to wow. do some figuring out of some shit on, uh, on Instagram. Oh, before that, before that. Who's who's fucking next? Because that's the number one question. Whenever I was like send, I was like send video questions uh, for disaster, and everyone's and like, uh, "Who's he battling?" Throw whatever. Random you weed come, yeah, bring it on, bring it on over here. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, are people still watching? I don't know. Twenty six people. Yeah. What's up? Assholes. Don't, don't. Look, little gay hearts. Do that it. That cannot become the most important part of this whole do situation it, do right it, now. Do it, do it, do it. It's not gonna change. I'm gonna, right. I'm just gonna flick it if it does. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what I was saying was, uh, the number one question that I was getting asked when I was having people send video question was, who's next? Uh, who's on the roster? Who do you, honestly, on, on the like, on the here, docket? Here, here's the thing about what I'm doing right now. Everything I'm doing is strategic. Like Joe and I. Mar, dumbfounded, Solomon, all these moves that I did were things that I wanted to do. So my next move, it could either only be two options. It could either be official, will be my female battle. Yeah. Or I battle Lux or Hollow. Okay. I don't feel like I feel battling like anybody else. I feel like Hollow is realistic. It's more realistic, but to be honest with you, I want to battle Lux for some reason. What about Mook? Like no, I don't want to battle him. He's he's a sucker, bro. He's gonna do some weird shit. Uh, I, I don't I don't want to be. If he would, he if reminds me of Cassidy so much that I just don't want to do it because I just feel like it's, <laughs> it's just uh, I feel like bullshit's gonna come with it, and he's gonna just like try to morph the situation to fit what he's doing. He's gonna do some weird shit, and it's just gonna be a stupid battle, bro. Cool. Lux, Lux is a respectful dude. That's you know, I mean, shout is that how you feel about right the Cassidy there. battle? I'll look, look. I mean, I, I just feel like you know, it, it just what it wasn't no real shit. You know what I mean? It like, wasn't like something worth watching. It's not even about watching. It's just the attitude about how he, like, went about this shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's just he was, like, so scared he was going to lose with his bars alone, so he came with all this other bullshit. You know what I mean? And it's kind of... Put that on something before you break it up. Grab it. <laughs> People always do that, and then there's hella, like, just broken up weed <laughs> on the table all the time. There you go. Use that. Whatever. Use what that CD is that? Read it. What CD is, is that? Ultimate Wizard Album. Ultimate Wizard Album. Ooh, there yeah. you go. Ultimate yeah. Wizard. Suck my dick. Cop the, that new Ultimate Wizard <laughs> shit. That sounds like some Thanks metal Alfred, shit right there. Um, okay, well, so uh, so yeah. So okay, who's next? We answered that. The other question, uh, or the other statement that I wanted to make, um, and I'm gonna try and thug these. Wait, things. real quick, in between question, would you battle Carter Deems ever? Man, I love Carter Deems, bro. I don't know. Look, look, I'd want to lose to him. He's not like daylight. You will. It's not like like I fuck know. shit. I don't think, yeah, I don't <laughs> think Carter Deems ever loses. I fucking love him, bro. To be honest with you. I'm gonna go on, on on a on a record and say this: I've never in my life ever ever been entertained in a live battle more than being at a live Carter Deems battle. Yeah, ever. I agree. Yeah, I man. really. There's nobody who's ever done it for me like to where 
if you see in his battle with cheddar cheese, like oh, it's amazing. Comes out, I'm in the back folding. Like right the whole, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right, right next to you. Bro, I was screaming. I actually lost my voice. It's amazing. When I He's came amazing. back out here to LA, people were like, yo, dog, you rapped so crazy. You lost your voice because my voice was like Pat Stay when I got back home. I was like, nah. No, that screaming at Carter Deems. I was screaming for Carter Deems. <laughs> yeah. He's amazing. And Cheddar Cheese was fucking incredible. And Cheddar Cheese was, was fire. for both of them, really. You know what I was going to say? It was, it was this just, is what I would compare that battle to. I would compare that battle to uh, Thesaurus and Fresco. Because. What? Uh, what? But yeah, which was Battle of the Night at the one out here. Well, fuck about no, no listen. Now this battle, is the why. Bro. This, this shit was like an amazing battle. This is bro. why like, I said that. This is why I say that about? because the Saurus disrespecting <laughs> Cheddar and what? Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. Disrespecting Carter and Cheddar. Bro. Those fools each got a thousand dollars for I don't that give battle. A fuck what they <laughs> because got. it was the Battle of the Night at the yeah, event. Because a bunch you battled of nerds. that, and you battled no, that, and I battled that. No, was it? On a fucking yes, I was Battle of the Night. Hold on. They a bunch were of Battle of the Night. Nerds. We oh, were Battle of the Night. No, Fresco was Performance of the Night. Yeah, because mm. a bunch of fucking nerds decided. So <laughs> you think you think you think oh. anything besides what I did in that fucking event oh. it, it, it trumped my fucking energy in that fucking event? No. <laughs> but fu- it's Performance of the Night. They're not, not going to give it, dude. They're not going to give it to you. Bars, bro. dude. It's it's who <laughs> who is the fucking performer of the night. And you know, oh, Fresco's shit. incredible. Listen, you know, we're bar- hating on Bars, dude. But Bars, <laughs> dude. Fucking didn't have performance but of the bars, night. Bars, dude. I had oh, the most people bars. there. Hashtag bars, dude. Hashtag bars, bars, dude. Dude. Hashtag bars dude. Bars, dude. Bars, dude. Hashtag Wait, bars, dude. Hey, bars, dude. <laughs> right now. There's no way bars, dude. Uh, fucking, hashtag bar, uh, you bars, know, dude. I, it, I agree with that. I, I thought you had performance of the night. What I was saying was, sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm not hating on the guy. I fucking love the guy. What I was saying was, what I was saying was, is the source much like cheddar cheese was killing it in that battle, yet still lost every round. You oh, know what I'm saying? What saying? Like yeah. Carter, like Carter won every round, much Bro. like Fresco won every round, even though Cheddar, Cheddar was, was way killing better. It. No, Cheddar was lyrically way better than Carter, but Carter's charisma is literally and, out and of this world, j- right? the material. The material is insane. And, and to me, there's something has to be said for rappers who are okay with being themselves. Cheddar's yeah. definitely a better rapper. I've been sure. fucking talking about this shit himself, all week. Though. Bro, he raps about things he does, like burns his thumb on the stove. Yeah, bro, when he said that shit. When he's like, I don't rap about guns. I rap about shit that I do, like burning my thumb on the yeah. stove and like. Da-da. And when so I heard he him said, say "I'm not that, making fun of battling," I was like, "I love this motherfucker. Like, this fun. guy really like." Yeah, that shit is amazing. Battling, battling he referred stuff. to his hands as kitten massagers. Oh, he's oh like, when I God, hit you with these awesome. kit, what do you call cat them? massagers? Cat massagers. Yeah. When I hit you with these cat massagers. <laughs> That's amazing. That shut it down. Bro, that shook the room. I don't give a fuck, bro. He's as long as you my, provide one of my favorite people like to watch. That, Holy go, shit. Bro, you know what I mean? Okay, so... Uh, I get mad excited for Carter Deems battles. Impersonations. <laughs> I fucking... I, we love them. I'm going to try and cut as many of them together. I'm going to thug them off Instagram somehow oh, right. and, and attach them to this episode. People make Instagram compilations, so I, I'll figure this shit out. Um... People are always wondering, like, who's the best battler in the world? Well, guess what, dude? It's Roan. Roan, dude. That's who's the best, dude. So, you know, <laughs> better get it straight, dude. All right, first of all, eh? Nobody's gonna beat Sharon, eh? Like, fam, listen, eh? Nobody's beating Sharon. What are you guys talking about? Sharon is the best free f- styler flipper of all time, eh? Like, what's up, big homie? It's Stomper from Tres Asway, homie. And all I gotta say is this, Don. We're gonna go black some black fools. And then we're gonna go find that essay Donald Trump. And we're gonna go fuck his mother and everything, dog. What's up, fool? We're gonna black some fools, homie. What's up, homie? This is Stepper, Stomper's little brother from Tres Asway, homie. What's up, dog? Hey, homie. Right now, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just chilling. I'm not doing nothing. Then when I get bored, I go blast some black fools, homie. Go shoot some black fools. Tony Gambolini, you owe me money, you fucking scumbag. And when I find you, I am going to knock the brush out of your wife's ass. I am going to shove my cannoli deep in a fucking asshole till you regret what you did. Tony Gambolini, known for gambling and fucking your mother in the ass over here. Listen here, you fucking scumbags. You better get your fucking assholes together before I come down there and spill pasta claim sauce all over your scumbags. Barbastreisen, Rufdenagen! 
Wenn einen Storten streit, dann fahr ja den Storten fernes beiden. Er dann Sandler ein Streit, dann fucht den Tag. Hey yo, my name is Joe Nine. Rules are fine when I choose the nine. My movement's fine and I lose my mind. It's crucified, get crucified like when the Jews had died. I squint my nose like this and I move my eyes. I'm so crazy. Message from Joe Nine. I don't appreciate how you're making fun of me on your Instagram. I'm gonna show you what it really is when I come there and destroy your career! <laughs> Disaster! I'm not coming for a classic battle. I'm coming for a body. The body of a belly dancer that wants to turn me down, but I'll get her number! Oh, I'll get her! <laughs> Little Wayne breezes through with the ball, centre field, baby approaches, is he going to go for the kiss, is he going to go for the kiss, is he going to go for the kiss? Unmistakably, we've all contracted AIDS, Andy, it's unbelievable. It's on Joe Budden, he goes for the intimidating gangster look, trying to scare us, stares into the camera, but he's too skinny, he's absolutely too skinny to do it, what a little brittle faggot, oh, it's unbelievable, it's all right, Andy, you can tell by the look on his face, he means business. He goes for the go, passes it on. And look at the cut on his eyebrow, you can definitely tell he's a homo. He goes for the shot, look at his hat! Oh my fucking God, he's definitely a homo! He's definitely a fucking homo! Yo, 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 it's Baby Egg again! What's going on? Don't flop all fucking day with a pussy in my lap too! Listen to what I gotta say! This week we got a huge event, don't flop, Nebraska, bruv! It's me the faggot, uh, don't flow up all fucking day, got a fucking message for King of the Dot. Listen, you're not allowed to book Quill for no battles. What do you mean you got Quill for blackout, bruv? You're not gonna do that, you're not gonna do that. Don't flow up all day, still. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, why is he doing this to be this? What are you doing, bruv? Stop doing it, bruv. Uh, Come on, bruv, isn't it enough what you've been doing to us, bruv? What's going on, bruv? What's going on, bruv? What's going on, bruv? What's going on? It's Erg again, and I just seen Iron Solomon versus this, and all I gotta say about this is performances. <laughs> Basically, uh, dude, what are you doing? You're gonna burn yourself on that fucking thing. Burn uh, yourself. It's gonna burn. Who do we got? Who do we got? Burn. Okay, so Ur for sure. Ur 100%. Um, oh, what? The ur, ur, ur. There's the Ur impression. Go! <laughs> fucking. Let's fucking go, bruv. Uh, and then. Um, uh, Let's fucking Can't even go. do it. Dude. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Goy. That's. What's going on, bruv? What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. When you were in the limo, when you got in the limo oh, for the man, first time, we were, I, I fucking no, was dead, I remember bro. you guys were like I want to see if I could put so all the urs together, because there's bro, so many the urs. Best, bro, there's like a hundred urs, bro, and each one of the one that I danced in the first time. And the, the, the one in the like, mirror where you're just... What was the song? Hold on. Don't uh, you want, want me, me, baby? Oh, and you're just my in God. The mirror, just like, Don't hey. you want me, baby? Face it towards him. He's like, you fucking Hey, fix your mic, disaster. You got to talk into the microphone. You're not periscoping. He's so loud. Does you have to talk into the mic? Yeah. Yeah, he's you should. Oh, it, it helps. Help. <laughs> it's definitely a lot more. Let's get more legible. Yo, yo, yo. Disaster. Um, don't you want me, baby? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, girl? You want to go out? Yeah. We we got don't flop all day. <laughs> you, you don't watch don't flop battles. You 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 don't want to have a go. You know. All right. You don't want to have a go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? In the hotel room trying to holler at just, hey, What's going on? Yo, 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 my name is Erga. You, you heard of Don't Flop? No, no, you don't know Don't Flop. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right, you don't even have a go. All right. <laughs> can I have a go? No, no, can I? Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? 
Who else do you do impressions of? Uh, yeah, what, what else we got here? Who uh, the, like? I have big dick for your bitches hole. <laughs> yeah, there's okay. for your bitches hole. I have big dick <laughs> and Russian missile that reach deep into penetrating defenses. There's I a, have supply, enemy supply. <laughs> supply. I have big supply of dick for your bitches. Dude, there's so many. There's so many fucking. Tony Gambolini, look. These Tony guys Gambolini. All know, Hey, the name is Tony Gambolini. <laughs> Listen here, you fucking, you fucking <laughs> scumbag. Well, you, you, hey, I'm gonna come down there and I'm gonna show you what I look like standing next to your mother <laughs> in a three-piece suit. In a fucking three-piece suit, I'll knock the fettuccine out of your mother's ass. <laughs> Tony Gambolini, you owe me money. I'm gonna take a baseball bat across <laughs> your fucking mother's <laughs> ass. <laughs> Who else? Who else? Uh, oh, there's of... more. Fuck. Uh, oh, yeah, there, dude, there's rappers that you do that are super <laughs> funny. Off the top of my head, uh, I can't do all of them right away because I get into these zones where I'm like good at it, and then I just like forget yeah, about them. Fucking a, man. I forget about. I can't things. believe I can't think of any, but sometimes I like at events. You're, you're just, oh, uh, Stomper, <laughs> Cortez. Hey, up, Co- oh yeah, Stomper. <laughs> hey, what's up, homie? Stomper. <laughs> hey, it's big homie Stomper from Tres Asway, homie. <laughs> What's up, fool? We're gonna go blast some black fools, homie. <laughs> hey, fool. What's up with those black fools, homie? <laughs> hey, dog. I heard Maria was chilling with some blacks, homie. We're gonna go over there and blast some blacks, fool. What <laughs> 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 the fuck? Oh, oh my God. shit. This that LA Mexican <laughs> shit right there. I love the most. Oh, Stomper. Really oh, uh, Cortez was the I first think, one from back in the day. I think and Stomper's no, my no, favorite the one. The OG so far, one. Yeah. Was High Kalidio. High Kalidio. High Kalidio. He's High Kalidio Scopage, homie. Lyrical dosage from voltage that I'm lyrically hypnosis. High Kalidio Scopage, homie. No, but you know what? Yeah, you guys. You know what? Back in the day, I really didn't like him, but yo, High Kalidio. That that was the OG. That was the original impression. See him do a battle too if he actually came. Yeah, that would be great. I, I've and, seen like unorthodox phrases pop up here and there. No, him and Thesaurus would be hilarious if they battled. I think. Oh, be- High Calidio Thesaurus now. Call him, call him the florist. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> Yo, the florist, homie. <laughs> like he used to think that was like like <laughs> insulting. Like I felt like Thesaurus was supposed to be like, damn. So I deliver flowers and like, what am I? I'm hella hey, soft, homie, yo. tell the florist to chill out, homie. <laughs> and bitch Aster, he called me Jizzaster, homie. Like with a jizz <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> they know that he's gay and everything. <laughs> he said Jizzaster, homie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said he would be like, it's High Kalidio. <laughs> it's High Kalidio, jizz. homie. No, I respect the rivalry though. He was kind of he was he, he was yeah, that was great. You no, know, it was it, it was always it, the rivalry. Know, grind time days are amazing. Bro. Diz would always Sorry. walk up. That to was me like the old WWF at game grind time events. I swear to God, it was the shit. Every bro. time I ever battled Remember at a grind Mosh time Jones? event, like Mosh yes. is fucking the man, bro. Like, I watched all of Grind Time Florida. Kobe Bryant's foot. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> He's like, hey, he looks like Kobe Bryant. The funniest shit ever. Remember when Satire Millie battled Bryant. Mosh Jell and God damn, it's been so That's long. So we're getting old, man. Yeah. God. You battled Reverse Live. <laughs> I did. I did, bro. That was I one of my a, favorite battles. I called him a uh, uh, Roseanne Barr swallowed the whole, whole damn, damn car. car. <laughs> when I first started battling, I thought I was going to battle like Reverse Live and Disaster <laughs> like right away. So I started like writing verses for them and shit. <laughs> And uh, one of the bars I wrote for <laughs> Reverse Live, like in like 2009, was uh, it's for Marv. You know how I know you're overweight. You fucking snarl, you're awake. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was from like my first notebook yeah, ever. Yeah, that's so crazy. You still, you still got it. And I just, <laughs> and I was it's like, dope I how like it. lines carry on to your next battles. You ever yeah. had that dirt where you're like lines, you don't use them in one battle, and then you're just like, fuck it. That's I'm my record. It. I do that <laughs> shit I wrote and never used. I do that shit every battle. Every battle. I have bars in it from the battle. Yeah, from something before. That has been my (laughs) whole career. Like my iron shit has Jonai shit in it. My Jonai shit has dumbfounded shit in it. My dumbfounded shit has like, you know what I mean? It just goes backwards forever. Oh my God. You guys want to see something fucking awesome? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Uh, Skylar, can you pull up a new YouTube page and fucking look uh, and search for Bard versus Pedro? Mm -hmm. B-A-R-D. Anything with Pedro. Pedro in it. Oh, is awesome you guys. Hey. By the way, Pedro is Crack City, just so you motherfuckers. Hey, bro. oh, hell yeah. 
That makes perfect sense, bro. You and He's out then, there then you guys, hey, out. you're gonna love this. This is a great example of, of Bye, bro. You, Bard versus Pedro. City, England, right here. Hey, oh hell yeah! Uh, zoom uh, like <laughs> full screen like, this oh. and go to the end. <laughs> go to the end, like yeah. right bef- like it's close. I to can't the- even watch this. Oh, shit. you got It's so fucking close. Man. Oh yeah. How close to the end? Yeah, Jesus Christ! Damn. How close to the end? Uh, like m- almost there, all the way, like right there. Fuck Pedro! Oh, I'm gonna send him to the Whoa. <laughs> Let's go, yo! Yo, run that back. Run that back. You hear what he said? He said, I'll fucking slap any man up, cunt. Are you fucking mad? That's what he said. You see, he asked that big ass dude. He said, Are you fucking mad? <laughs> <laughs> he fired on dude. Let's go, Pedro. Are you mind cut? Let's fucking go, bro. Yeah. I fucking love him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Okay. Cool. Yo, man. Get in the bed or have a get fight. The, the screen going back up there. Holy shit! Right? Is that amazing? We need to fucking like, uh, like Brit sponsor him to live out here. And was that totally was ridiculous? I feel like it's a all pretty he does good is idea. Plays weed all day. Look at his Instagram. He just all he does is Pedro. Fucking. That's all he does is t- take pictures of nugs and smoke them. He just, <laughs> he just takes me to <laughs> I swear to God. And then bro. smokes him. He's like, yeah, man. Man's gonna smoke Mine's this nug. Crazy he's, like, in, he's like, man's yeah. got the best weed. Oh, bro, he's, he's like, I'm like in. He he's like, me. dude, I, and when we were in Where Amsterdam, we knew he got there because he like took a picture in his hotel of like <laughs> a bag of weed, right uh, some blunts, and like a couple fucking beers and shit. Yeah, he's yeah. like, man's touched down in Amsterdam. And he's like, man's touched down in Dam. Fucking. Bro. Ready to get the night started. He's just by himself, drinking yeah. tall cans and I smoking fu- blunts. I fuck with Pedro. Yeah, he's oh, excellent. No, man. He's, he's a, the way he ripped out the other kid's shirt, man. What was that fucking kid's name? Max Sherry? Or whatever? Yeah. 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 EMC. Yo, but what about that, though? He just fired on that big-ass dude. That dude knocked his hat off, and he's like, yo, his response is great. Oh, I love it. Man, he's like, you fucking mad cat. Are you fucking mad you cat? mad cat. He asked the big ass dude if he was crazy like, are for you slapping it. You're out of crazy? your fucking mind. And he was like, he had to be <laughs> held. He had to be restrained by multiple yeah, someone people. Yeah, jumped in there quick. <laughs> nobody, dude, the, like the other guy, like nobody's really holding him back at all. He's just, they're all, they got their backs to him. They're holding It didn't seem like, like the punch oh, really fucking. did much damage. No, not at like, all. Uh, bro. Like, uh, hey. What the fuck? It's all in the intent, bro. No, I thought we were got, having a rap you battle, gotta bro. understand the angle he took the punch from. Like he just swung like right away. He didn't like like plan it. Or, yeah, like, no, he just like he just took like a jab, and that nothing. dude was far too. And for he his fired. reach, if he was close, he would have caught him with he it. But like, for the reach, fired, like bro. bro, for the reach, he you know what I mean? Like fired. he just, oh, bro, he fired That's on so him. So funny. Uh, <laughs> well, all that matters is he fired on him and then walked away in that event. Like it's outside. It's not in an event. So you got to know. That that big dude did not take action after that. Yeah. Whatever yeah. the fuck happened, I don't care what happened. I don't care how many dudes, you know, Pedro was with or if he was alone. Like at the end of the day, he walked away from the situation. Yeah. No squab happened. He got fired on, and he's about five times his size. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like Lincoln, five at least. Uh, link in the uh, video description. Support KOTR. Subscribe. They're happy, great. Pedro. Um. Uh, to King uh, of let's the see if we can get these video does. questions uh, out, and then we'll fucking get the fuck out of here. All right. Let's let's see if they, work. Work. if they don't work, we'll fucking uh, start with this one or what? I'll, I'll you want to start with the plug first one? Plug my phone. Yeah. Yeah. It's just whatever. Yeah. Liam. Let's start with Liam. Yo, DVD show. It's your boy Irish Rasta. Got disaster on the show tonight, so first of all, just got to start off by saying fucking shouts out for having the best battle probably ever. Like, people argue against that and say it wasn't the best one ever, but battling is so subjective, you're never going to have an answer that actually makes everyone happy. But when people say that's not the best battle ever, I say, what other battle even fucking comes close to ticking enough boxes to make it even, like, not a stupid answer? 
and people are never even gonna let it, let it be the best battle when there's no black guy in it. But still, fucking incredible battle, amazing shit. I uh, hope to see you back in the ring soon. But yeah, just with all a bunch of uh, active battlers on the set, do you guys think that there's just a fucking uh, just an uh, an epidemic of bars? It's just too many fucking bars, just people barring out all the time, and it just takes away the whole point of being of having a good bar and working up to it. And as active battlers, do you guys try and avoid watching a lot of battles so that you can keep you know so you don't accidentally like write bars that you hear or is it just to keep so you can keep your own originality but yeah shouts out to all of you shouts out for the battle disaster shouts out for the show guys peace have a good one oh man that's a crazy question yeah, that's actually a pretty name? good question what's his name what is his name that's liam, the irish liam. Rasta. liam reeves <laughs> liam reeves the irish motherfucking rasta man you watching this man here we go here he, here's how we gonna start answering your ass um Thank you, first of all, for what you said about the battle, man. That's incredible. I'm glad that that could even affect people that way, man. I'm, I'm humbled by that. Thank you very much, man. And uh, as far as, um, um, what did he say at the end? I like blank for a second. Is there an epidemic of the bars? Epidemic of bars, bars. Yeah. Many bars. The epidemic of bars that he talked about, and then he said about watching battles to avoid saying shit. So to break that down, epidemic of bars, first of all, we're talking about that. Yes, and it's not creative. And the thing about it is it takes away from the people who do it creatively, like B-Magic and Big K and the, the ones that are really incredible about at barring out. When you got a thousand of little motherfuckers who are putting simple words together that are really shitty are sitting there, they're making bars look bad. And this is the reason why you guys think multis are bad because we had so many little fucking corny-ass little clone guys who came out like, when I'm rhyming flow and I'm in Idaho and I try to know how I rhyme and flow and those guys fucked it up for the multis for us. And the same shit, the... The we, yeah, the we, same thing is happening to bars. To now. bars, bars. Yeah. Yeah, all bars. your bars and your, you know, uh, you know, when the fan to Dr. Pepper lines, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like it's just, it's not cutting it anymore, and it doesn't Pepper. take, it doesn't take talent for that shit, and and it's so much of it that it just drowns out the people that are actually good at it. It's fucking horrible to say, and. uh yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, what's your take on that? I mean, uh, pretty much we feel the she same. She buy Coke of the Dr. Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's like. I mean, well, you, I, I don't know if you saw any of that shit I was tweeting the other day, but I kind of went on like a long tangent about, <laughs> about it. About that. Shit. And it's just, you know what I mean? It's it's all becoming so done. I saw Hashtag go- bars do. I saw Gully post some videos from like GZ dude, and I just figured, hey, I'll watch it. And immediately it was like he's like I got it's like a white kid in Canada. He's like <laughs> yeah, I got I that thing it. I call electric slide because it'll make you group dance. And I was like, all right, I'm done. Uh, that's, a, that's enough for me. I got that thing I'm I call done. electric slide because it'll make your group dance. I was like, damn. I was like, <laughs> no. Yeah, just say whatever. <laughs> oh bad. Jesus Here. Christ. My dude. bad. Sorry, man. I um, coughed in God's face. Oh, hey, it happens, bro. It happens. Um, what's what's a cough amongst the brothers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys get no, all but in to each answer faces. your question about Liam, Liam, listen, Liam Reeves. Um, bars, dude. Hashtag here's the bars thing dude. about bars watching dude. battles bars, to avoid <laughs> bars, to dude. avoid to avoid. To be honest with you, we don't watch battles to avoid uh, saying something someone else did, but. <laughs> If you do watch a lot of battles, it helps you to avoid from saying some shit someone else did. So Very what true. you're saying is, is in true in fact that you should do it. We should do it, but like, bro, who has like when we were younger, we were we'd sit around all day and we would watch battles. All of us, you could watch do. a majority. <laughs> we of could the watch battles a ba- out. Yeah, yeah, there was there all the battles that were out. We would run them all back to back today. Yeah, I nobody all. has fucking time for that shit. I miss a lot of fucking battles, and I'm sorry if some people. The thing is, for me, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eventually say a bunch of shit that other people have said, but you're not going to say it smarter than me. Yeah. You're not going to say it more clever than there me. You go. You're not, your shit's not going to be attached to more syllables than me. You're just not better than me. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. So I don't give a fuck what you say. I, I don't used care to, if I I used to stress off said. that shit. And I would even, when I came up with a really good bar, I would call people like Caustic or like Madness and be like, yo, has, has anybody, has anybody uh, you know ever who my said guy that? to go to is that? Like, my, I have a guy that I call that, that I, I Guy. Yeah, I just we're probably the same guy. Who do you mm. hit up? Topper. Oh, I see. I hit up the source. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, whenever, yeah. whenever, oh, source also. Oh, bro. Whenever, yeah. whenever I'm in doubt or I just have a bar and I'm just like, hmm, has anybody ever said this before? Hold on. Beep, 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 beep. Source. Oh, what's up, is Pete? Man, perfect, hey, has anybody ever said this? Oh man, I don't. Uh, nah, you're clear, man. <laughs> you just, I'm like, I've right, asked cool. him that so many times. <laughs> 
Nah, for real. People I said my last, that. like my last battle. <laughs> I anybody knew. ever said this? He's exactly or madness. Yeah, madness. 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 Yeah. madness. madness is the best to ask about like a movie. Like if I ever have a question, like, hey man, what the what, what movie did that guy play in? Oh yeah, Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, okay, madness cool. just. Yeah, yeah. Like he, you could just ask him any role. They, Madness, you could probably be like, "What scene is this?" Da, 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 da. He'd be like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's from- thirty-seven minutes in, bro." <laughs> yeah, thirty-seven minutes into Pulp Fiction, bro. No, I. Uh, <laughs> uh, Shouts out to Madness. I, I stopped doing oh, yeah. it at the end just because I knew like motherfuckers weren't thinking of the shit that I was thinking of. You just had to it think of matter. your own best version of whatever that shit. Yeah, may yeah, be. yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some fucking kid ask like. It's like, don't you think it's weird that Iron Solomon said these Tony D bars? And I'm like, you know what? I was like, what? What happened? I don't think Iron like he's trying to say like yeah, like some of like Solomon's bars were like exact Tony D lines or some shit. Yeah, I'm sure Solomon sat down and watched he's Tony just sitting, D, bro. Yeah, he's sitting <laughs> down watching. Yo, that. the hollow of England, bro. <laughs> The I England fu- hollow. I fuck with Tony D. I yeah. think Tony D. Yeah, Tony D is dope. But I and that's why too, I say. You know what? No, I, I that's why I don't Tony. think Iron did that shit because I'm I'm a fan of Tony D. I fuck with Tony, but that, that shit, shit, that blog he did with Math was so corny. Like just like after Math's battle, like Math was like, "Yo, so why you bring up that shit about this?" He's like, "Yo, bro, I had to do it, bro." Yo, bro, I, I just had to. <laughs> 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 hey, bro, I had to do it, bro. Like, shut up. It's a battle. Tell him cuz I used it against you cuz it happened. Like what? Like you how you going to tell me what they use against you in a battle? He tried to say that shit Hella to Big K too. Yeah. It. He was mad about it, but it's just like Tony D <laughs> was such a fucking fluffy guy about it. Like Jesus Christ, bro. Like I'm sorry. Matt is a good guy, bro. Chill out. You don't got to be all funny. You can be yourself, you know what I mean? Like he's yeah. not going to kill you like punch a few people Jesus on camera Christ, and people man. think you're you're That's just going to knock dude. everyone out. Yeah, bro. He thinks he's going to get killed if he fucking agrees with me or something. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> uh, I did not, I never knew this shit. I never do that. No, nah, for real. I I you don't have to full screen it. shit. They tagged me in that shit, so you know. Because I'm going to pop it. I'm going to put it on the screen pop down here. Pop up video. What's up, Dirtbag Dan Show? It's Logan from Canada. I'm at work here, working at a hotel front desk. That's what I do now. Just got a question for Disaster. What's your honest, honest opinion about Skylar G? Now be honest. That's all I all, have. All of his questions are. If you really want me to be honest, I'm gonna be honest with yes. you. I don't. I don't have an opinion. I didn't form That's no fair. opinion. Yeah. Like I didn't sit there like, okay, this is what I feel <laughs> about this man. Like I don't sit here it's like, good. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So you don't He's have a cool any, guy. You don't He's have any feelings for Skylar G. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> okay. Logan no does. Me and Diz have a song. We did, we did music at one point. Or no, I no. Hey, were there no feelings no. created in that music? No, yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, you guys are trying, you to, trying to fuck with me right Skyler now. You lived or died no, no, on no, disaster. No. You have no care. Our song is amazing, okay? <laughs> Don't hate on our song. It is great. I would like it to hear great. it. You're hating on our song. What? You no, it's dope. You, you don't think it's good, dude. Before I've heard can it, we, is it? Uh, we get the, it's still up. It's like I think my shit was fire. People hated on it. I, I, I thought it was fucking amazing. I, I thought the beat know was incredible. Song. The link. I thought as soon as look. The thing is, for me, I don't rap. I don't make albums because I don't like any beats. So if I hear a beat and I fucking like it, well, thank bro, you very much. I, if, I, you know how hard it is for me to like a beat, bro. Like I, and then remember <laughs> oh, I, I called you about that one beat. You know the uh, the. Um, what was the it? Other beat, bro, and I went crazy over it too. Like I hardly ever like. What was it? Had the other one for the intro of the. Oh, oh the down, money down, 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 beat. Down, down, yeah. The money, the Pink Floyd down, money beat. Down, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I hardly ever like beats, but if I hear something and I, I like it. So bro, there's like, multiple Skylar beats that have made you call me, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. There and you that's go. That's like Thank really you. okay. So that's my opinion so about Skylar. He makes music that really ins- like inspires me. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I like you that. Got it I will take that. All right, you Fuck guys you got that. Out of me. You can you can put that on my uh, my eulogy. You got me to fucking show my show my soft side. All right, man. He got me. No, that's in the background. Fuck it, Logan. Bitch. What up there, Bag Dancho? This is Mark from Canada, under no circumstances to be confused with Logan from Canada. Out here in Toronto, repping that Bay shit town business. I have two questions for Dan and Caustic and any other battlers on the show. What is the best thing, in your opinion, that's been said about you in a battle you weren't participating in? So, for example, when Dan brought up Caustic in the Real Deal and Soul, Soul Calm battle, saying... That's not caustic. He has more of a bird face. Anything like that. Second one, what is the 
best thing said about you, in your opinion, in the Royal Rumbles each of you participated in? And Caustic, keep it coming with the music. I'm playing morning labels at parties and shit, and people are fucking with it. Peace. He, he said he wants more music from you, too. From me? Yeah. Tight. I'm going to do that. <laughs> he likes your music. Fuck yeah. Um, uh, so the first question was, what was the best thing said about you in a battle that you weren't in? So disaster. Uh, what's, do, what's the best line that someone said about you in a battle that you weren't in? Oh, like just like called me Reference out. Yeah, like, like someone referenced you in yeah. a battle like, and you weren't actually battling Ooh, in a battle. Oh, I know. I, usually I don't know these things, but I'm about to hit hard on this one. Uh, use the, the microphone mic. and use tell the us mic. Oh, okay, it. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly which line it is. It was, it was like, this is how Brooklyn do. Now every time I look at you, I see that face <laughs> you made when <laughs> disaster started hooking, hooking you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Who is that? Good. Who said that? Big K, bro. Oh, the that's math. a great one. Big K to math, bro. That was the best. Wow. Probably like, yeah. I because I, you know why? Maybe I'm biased because of the situation that I was in with math and all that shit and like. Math was like, like really always talking shit, and then he just rubbed it in his face to me. I like fucking busted up laughing. Like, like, <laughs> I just couldn't control myself. Like when he said, when he said the hook in you, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I started laughing like you big K, you the shit. Uh, I'll oh, say uh, f- uh, the best one, dude. I was, uh, it was. I don't know if it's the best one, but it was an honor to be mentioned in the title <laughs> match. Uh, you know what I mean? And, 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 and have it be on like the winning side. Roan had hella bars about me and Immaculate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, about, yeah. about me I'm choking like, oh, him yeah, out. Yeah, I knew. So, so. I was thinking in my head, oh, Dirk's probably somewhere laughing about this. Like, yeah. I think, oh, I I yeah, but I was just, I was more like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's fucked up. Oh, my God, my Quit God. saying that shit. Uh, that's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. We That's were drunk. Good. We were drunk and possibly I wasn't drooming. drunk. I was on mushrooms. <laughs> and I, and I was super looking, strength. And I was looking at Roan going, I'm on mushrooms. I think we've all fucked with each other like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, man. It oh. happens. It happens, man. We get, dude, yeah. Like, and I don't, dude, I'm like, I'm like Pedro, bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care. Pedro, um, bro. But uh, uh yeah, sh- shit, I'm you fucking, fucking mad. Cut. That has to be a sure. Right? Yo, are you fucking? Mad? I've been there, Pedro. I've fucking been there before. Yeah, no, you, that moment where you're like, are this guy out of his fucking? <laughs> you're like, out of your mind. It's just how funny the guy that he said it to, like how fucking huge he was compared to. <laughs> They're like, like, it's like almost sh- that like question should be coming from the from other him. person. Like, yeah. are you out of your yeah. mind for trying to fucking punch me? <laughs> no, Pedro said that to him. Yeah, no, no, it was the small guy who said that. Yeah, if you would have told the story without the footage and you'd be like yeah man he fired on him and then it was like yo are you out of your fucking mind for saying that like everybody would have been like yeah and then it would have been like what the fuck that's the guy who said it like are you serious right now like right. that's crazy he's like fucking uh half like what it was like a quarter his size the guy looked like a fucking blob up there bro god damn um uh what the fuck fucking uh uh caustic best thing said about you Fuck man! In a battle that somebody else. I said. feel like I'm referenced a lot. I had a good one. I had. I can't you remember. Was it? Uh, my I said battles. long nose pointed at him like caustic. Yeah, watching. I feel like everybody's got <laughs> a caustic bar at some point. Yeah, yeah, a lot of caustic bars. <laughs> um, I liked uh, Pat Stay's shit about me in the arcane battle. You know, dumbfounded said bad. I couldn't handle a caustic situation. He, yeah. lied. he lied. It was. <laughs> not, I remember. <laughs> Yo, I've battled I everybody. That's so fucking retarded. I just yeah. haven't battled dirt. No, yet. you didn't. I've we, actually, I've actually you got, said you, I've battled. You successfully, so actually talked to no, him. we were going to because he's point. my homie. I'd battle. But you like successfully a, you know, escaped that. MMA no, I, I, <laughs> hey, I would still do it just for fun. That shit. Hey, I would do it for fun. Hey, dirt's the homie, man. That yeah. Shit, I, 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 I thought of it like. Hey, people like talk shit. The people I beat, it's pretty fucking funny, dude. If you run down the list of people that I. Beat. DNA recently. I beat okay, so battle. I beat Real Deal too, like oh, pretty yeah. fucking good. Real Deal, uh, and him who, uh, dude. There's there's people I beat that I definitely I no can do. I Come on, him too. <laughs> name everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I battled them. Name somebody now. Next battle you've had. Oh, that I battled. Yeah. Um, name another person you battled. Fuck, uh, Mac Lethal. Well, I haven't nope. Ah. You didn't, dude. I battled weird people. Oh, Mad yeah, Child. Mad <laughs> Child, <laughs> Child I went mentioned no, me in a battle. I lost. No, but me and uh, Mad Child, Mad Child battle, battle. Arguably the Mac Lethal one too. I thought I did fucking amazing in the Mac Lethal battle. I thought that was one of my best performances ever. And I freestyled a bunch of shit. So I, I, I feel like that was more peak Dirtbag Dan. Even like regardless of fucking. You never battled Head Eyes. Faggot. 
No, I didn't battle head eyes. Oh, yeah, Neither of you did. Battle eyes. Um, I battle eyes either. Uh, <laughs> I, I miss thinking about matchups for myself it's sometimes. Hard. It's like I miss, hard I like sometimes eyes. I think about like, oh, who would I battle? And I'm like, oh yeah, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the okay. I'm trying to think of somebody I battled that you guys haven't battled. Let's get this fucking next Besides question cracking. John, John, John. John. Yeah. <laughs> Don't full screen it. I battled the Holocaust tonight. <laughs> you battled the Holocaust tonight. <laughs> when he was still in the closet. Is he rapping to us? Deadback Dan from the Deadback Dan Show. What's up, brother? Skyler, Caustic, whoever's in the building today. I hear disasters there. Love your work. <coughs> Two quick questions today. The first one is, um, what's the cutoff age for a battle rapper? At what point do most get to and say, I cannot go in there as a grey-haired old man battling these fucking children? <coughs> is there a cutoff age? I mean, fuck, there's still quite a few going from when I started watching. And they're still killing it, so. It's not like it's a sport where you have to be physically fucking in tune to get it. you just got to still have that, I suppose, but, you know. What, what is deemed too old to be a battle rapper, I guess, is the question. Second one is, what, how much validity is there in the room that DNA and K-Shine just bought a car together? If they did, I think that's hysterical. And I don't think they should ever live that down. But I'm fearful that it's just the rumor. <clears throat> Never let the truth get in the way of a good yarn. I've already made a meme or two about it. That <laughs> was pretty fun. Um, yeah, look, I'm a big fan of the show. I watch it religiously every week. Fortnite, whenever. Um, Caddy Ron is missed. God, that guy was funny. But, you know, you guys are holding it down still, keeping his name alive, which I think is fantastic. Big fan of that. Um, yeah. Much love, man. Keep doing what you do. Peace. So that yeah. was so that uh, was uh, Steve Finch. That's the guy who made the Finch, yeah. That's damn, the guy who made the, the, the made those memes. fucking things. Yeah, he made yeah. the memes. Guy, bro. He yeah. also designed the Cadillac Ron, Ron Memorial Flyer. Uh, uh, Battle of the Zay Five. Where's he flyer? from? He sounds like almost Australia. like Australian accent. Australia. Yeah, he he's like from Australia. Australia. That's tight. <laughs> Australia. It's fucking right, cunt. Australia. Shouts out to he's Finch, Australia. Cunt. What's his name? Steve Finch. That sounds right? like a loving hip hop yeah, I'm bitch. A, I'm gonna remember this guy. Yeah. Hey, uh, his question. Um, yo, man. Yo, yo, your question, bro. It's a good question. Um, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I don't think there's an age limit to anything. I think it's your mind and where you're at, how exactly. strong you are, how how long you're willing to go. I've noticed with myself. That I am growing stronger as I age, it's it's crazy. Um, I, I I can't imagine myself wanting to be like I was last year and the year before and I, when I was younger. You know, people want to go back to being younger. I don't want to be 27. I don't want to be 26. I don't want to be 25 or 24 because <laughs> I'm on a different level right now. Like, it's just amazing, and I just don't see it slowing down. I don't see it slowing the fuck down. Maybe when I'm 40 something. In the 30s, I don't see it slowing down. If that's what you want to answer for that, I, I don't see the 30s. I have a different down. answer for that question. Yeah. So 32. 32. <laughs> what? That's it. 32. What? Stop battling. <laughs> yep. Why? Yeah, I have to stop next <laughs> Why? Year. Why? Because that's when year. I want. That, well, that's when I was like, I'm not getting in the ring and telling another a 25 year old kid I'm fucking doper than him anymore. Why? I'm not doing that shit. You are doper I'd than rather, him because a 25 year old kid doesn't have, have as dude, much experience. I'm way as you. doper than him. I don't need <laughs> in, to tell in other him to him. What, what, do what, do what right <laughs> defines a real man, though? Is I'm it, just is saying. It, is it knowledge and wisdom or is bro, it like I'm being saying, young and ferocious? Like, I'm not saying like, for yeah, you. I'm saying for me. Like, you were very right about the first thing you said. It's on an individual basis. I look forward to aging. I think head eyes can battle when he's fucking 80 years old. If Head Eyes can still he, battle when he's 80, he's that then old. He's, How old is Ice, first of all? I don't think he's that old. He's in, he's in his 30s, I'm sure. He's probably mid-30s. Yeah, So, but I'm saying okay. I think that dude, his persona, he could battle till he's 80. Me, 32. That's what, that was the line for me. <laughs> I woke up one day and was like, I can't fucking tell a 25-year-old kid I'm doper than him. I don't need to. I'd rather ba be it's the league. Retarded. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck that. R retarded. That sounds retarded to you. That sounds genius to me. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that shit. Tell a 25-year-old kid that he's a fucking little fucking bitch-ass kid. If I'm down. Five, I'm sorry. 
I'm down. I just don't need to do it that way. Fuck you. I'm just not doing it that way. I think it all depends on Who's how the... Who's 25 at this table? Well, it all depends kind of on how the... <laughs> no one is. That's just like the hypothetical age Are you 25, of like bro? a battler in their He's prime. He's 25. Are you 25? <laughs> Ah, you have to quit battling. Well, yeah, you, well, you know, <laughs> you got to think about it too. That wait, like it's 30. it's also like if the crowd rides with you because like if everyone in the crowd's like now nah, you're old and every old joke Who is just landing fuck? super hard and you're not able to come back from it. Yeah, you know, like then you're, right. it, you're probably too old to keep battling. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, if you, you can't can, come back from yeah, it, yeah. If you you got to you know what I to, you know what I was young in a lot of ways. I was I was telling my homie the other day. I was like, yo, I was like, I can see myself. If I kept my mind intact and I didn't fuck my mind up, I could be a guy in a wheelchair at 80, roll up to the battle. Like, I roll up on you with my wheelchair and I fucking rip the mic. Like, bro, I'll just come with some wheelchair. <laughs> why? why? I'll come with my cane and I'll, hey, I'll be the answer old me guy. A question. I'll be the dope old guy. Answer like, me I don't this. see myself yeah. how come in the future? I don't see it. I don't how see come it. in the future... You're rapping like it's the '80s. Did it go no, completely? No, did no. it switch completely because, around? No, it would be like the Tiger like Tie effect. Disaster. No, it would be the Tiger Tie effect, though. I would, I would hey, just, fuck I would, I would just, you know, you got to think too. Though. Everyone future. loves me. Like I would just be like, I pull a great, like bro. I'll as play. as like as the battle, like because I mean, like if you guys think I'll, about I'll it, you know, like battling just facing gray pubic hair. Yo, yeah, they man in here. New fans, bitch, fucking facing my gray pubic hair when I roll up in the wheelchair and turn into cannabis old cannabis Hell new yeah. fans will become old <laughs> fans right <laughs> bro so, I can so do it. over I time think I can pull it so, but i mean like but you know like Whereas you know, like where Swave would say, where you, where you battle, you know, you battled Swave and shit. I take a sip, you could be like a baseball a fiacre, then I'll fuck your bitch, I and mean, then I'll fucking <laughs> yeah. come with the shit, bro. If I'm fucking he was old, thinking I'm, hell hard. I'm just saying, disaster is currently was killing the cipher, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say it, Skyler. Oh, hey, at and the and time back wrinkles. then, there wasn't a ton of older fans. Whereas now, there's a lot more older fans. People are are that aging with the sport, so as they get older and more fans get older, you'll they're gonna root for the older. There will be older dudes battling, and it'll be okay whereas like back that's, in the day smart. every we were all you know fucking young when battling first started picking up so and that's shit, why right? old man bars worked hella better worked back better in the day. Then, all the OG fans like, were all fucking beat <laughs> fans and they fucking stopped fucking with us yeah bro. they're like you can't call head ice old we you don't know, give a fuck Kevin, about that like yeah. that don't work bro Kevin Beacom like, and his squad and all them bro they're all just like you know they're they're beat people like they probably just stopped watching battle rap everybody yeah, that, it's like it's not all the same old motherfuckers like ever breeze flowing and all the motherfuckers like you know shouts out to them but I'm not dissing them but I'm just saying like after we went to acapella they probably all the OGs that were then were just like all right man we're going to get jobs and we're out of here yeah like, <laughs> like, okay. they, were just like, they were just like oh, fuck right this shit oh we're done, it, we're it, done. I can I kind of feel like that sometimes like if this shit keeps dumbing down and it becomes like a bunch of fools telling each other yo I got the sprite can with the fucking if it becomes that I'm out too like yeah, fuck yeah. out of here like yeah. we going to be the same guys like so you know? it really it really is it's like time. Yeah, it's, it's time yeah it's time phases per, yeah. that just cut We'll always we lived have out our, our whole own time thing. phase. Yeah. But we went to the end of the race. You got to look at it like regardless. If we make it that long, like, bro, I've been here for 32. Like, God fucking <laughs> man. 32. <laughs> what is, what I've been here for a long time. What do you yeah. think the, sorry, the Fresh bro. Coast Reunion Tour I've is going to look I've like? I've go from the beats. You know? <laughs> what do you, Dude, do? What do you think the Fresh Coast Reunion Tour is going to look oh, like? Oh, man. man. I'll we, come back probably. But it, when I'm old Franco. and then it'll be You find me, Franco, and I'll battle him. Tell him to start writing from right now. Dude. Fat flow rat master. Be what was his name again? <laughs> flow fat sack master. Dude, it's all about it. Master, master fat master. Fat flow master. Flow master. Hey, fat flow master sack. fat sack. Master, master, yeah, fat that's sack. what it was. Yeah. yeah. Someone tell Franco, bro. Hey. Collect your shit, bro. You're probably up there in Humble County growing plants, dude. Just come down here, bro. I'll give you a battle, bro. I'll give you a comeback, dude. Union titty. Union That's, City okay. is a dude with titties. That's it. We're ending the show on that note. <laughs> is it, it's been two hours, right? Did we do a two-hour fucking... Uh, I don't uh, know, man. Do Franco, some more! Uh, I'll battle you, Franco. Hell yeah. Dirtbag Dan Show 81. Fucking disaster, ladies and gentlemen. King. Fuck out of here. I'll have sex with your mother. Real nice style. Knock the pasta out of a fucking asshole. Put my cannoli deep in a fucking ass. <laughs> I'll put my cannoli deep in her ass. <laughs> Shout <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Christmas.